All right, all right, all right. What's going on, people? I mean, all these reports popping out every three or four seconds that, that say that we're going to get them, that say that we're not going to get them. Man, I mean, <laughs> now we're saying he wants 18 and a half. Before that, we were seeing that the Bears were trying to give him $11 million to pair him up with Allen Robinson, sign him on the fact that him and Allen Robinson will be a, a you know a top of the league kind of uh, receiving core. I mean, hey, thanks for everybody in the chat that's, that's telling me happy birthday. Appreciate that, definitely. But this Galladay stuff, I feel like I don't know if he's taking a long time to make a decision or if the Giants are taking a long time to take a decision. But it, it's drawn on way too long for me. I feel like if he leaves New York, he is not – Signing a deal, man. I, I feel like if he leaves New York, he's not going to be on the Giants. I don't understand. I mean, there were some reports that were saying that they were concerned that he kind of gave up on the team last year, uh, on the Lions last year. He didn't want to come back and play through his injury, which makes sense. I mean, you want to be completely right when you come back. But I definitely appreciate all the, all the birthday love. Definitely appreciate all of that. And I mean, I, it's, it's great that I have enough time today. I happen to not be working today where I can actually get on here and, uh, you know, share part of this day with you all. But what's going on with the Galladay stuff? The Ravens could use them. I don't know if they don't have the money, but they, they could use them. They could definitely use them. But I think we, I mean, if we don't get Galladay, we could also go out and get you know, we could get Waddle in the draft. We could get a Bateman in the draft. The Ravens don't get Galladay. The best they're doing is probably Terrace Marshall. And it, it's a huge drop off. But I want Galladay right now so we can do whatever we want at 11. And, you know, maybe add on to, to Galladay. The Bears are saying that they could have the best tandem. But guess what? We could sign Galladay and we could sign Allen. I mean, we could sign up. Uh, we could draft a uh, Jalen Waddle or Devontae Smith. And we'll have Darius Slayton and Sterling Shepard behind them. So if he just wants to play in a crowded room, we can do that for him. And I don't think anybody's paying Galladay 18.5. If he could get that, I think Galladay would have been paid 18 and a half two days ago, two or three days ago. He probably would have been a first day free agent. I, I really don't. I think that he's wanted that for, for all of this time and no one's been willing to give it to him. And his, his agent is licking this stuff because they're probably negotiating. They're probably trying to drive the price up. They're probably, you know, trying to trying to get some of that leverage back. But there, there's no way that he's going to the Bears, man. That, that makes absolutely no sense at all. You're going to be having Andy Dalton back there throwing you the ball, who could barely do anything with probably the best receiving core in the league last year in Dallas. And you think just because you go out there with Allen, I, I don't think that he's going to the Bears. I think it's between the Ravens, the Giants, and maybe a dark horse team that would make an offer. The Bengals just cleared up some space. That's possible. But I, I think it's mostly between the, the Giants and the Bengals, if you, if you really ask me. Appreciate the, the birthday love again. Um, I think Galladay is going to have to make a decision today. I think he's going to make a decision today. He's going to try to drive up that price. His agent is going to continue to leak reports today to try to get that price down, uh, to try to get that price up. But I think by the end of the day, he's going to make a decision. Either one of these other teams are, are going to offer him a crazy offer or he's going to be on the Giants. I mean, let's get the deal done. We've, we've been almost like talking about Galladay as if he's already a Giant because this has been gone for so long. Uh, Nate, this is going to be a waiting for Galladay stream, but I mean, we can get into some other stuff. I mean, I've talked about some of the agents, some of the free agents we've signed. I didn't get to give my opinion on Mike Glennon. I think Mike Glennon is a solid backup. Uh, I think he's an upgrade over Colt McCoy, but, uh, yeah, this is going to be mostly about Galladay, but it, it's, it's all giants, all free agency, really just, you know, anything. Because I know we probably have a couple of guys in here who are fans of other teams. So it's just free agency in general. And uh, we might get uh, we might get the hub in here in about uh, 30 minutes at about 
uh let's see i might uh nate and uh pat I i'm probably going to send you guys the link so you guys can jump in here and give your opinion on the on the galladay stuff i'm gonna slide you guys the link real quick yeah man that'd be crazy if galladay was trolling us <laughs> I definitely thought that that Cowboys reporter was trolling us a couple of days ago where he said that the Giants were meeting with Galladay or something. I really feel like uh, they were they were trolling us at first. And then he seemed to get mad, so I, I guess he wasn't. He seemed like he took his job serious. What's going on, Max? But, yeah, he's not getting 18 and a half. Sly, Sly Cooper, he's he's not – it's not happening. He's not getting 18 and a half. Not at all, man. Like, I just – if he was going to get that kind of money, that's what I believed that he would get paid at the beginning of the market. So I think he came out and asked for that, and the team said, no way, that's way too high. First off, he's been injured. Second of all, I mean, there's still a couple of things he has to prove. He's not the best route runner. He's not, you know, the elite prospect at, at all levels of, of being a receiver. So – that's a good question. I'll get to that. But there were some questions that needed to be answered about Galladay. And I don't think anybody's willing to pay him that, you know, huge amount of money at 18.5. I think he's going to be in that 14 to 17 range. And anything over that is I don't think he'll get it unless he goes to a horrible team. That's just that just has money like the Jets. But the Jets already got their guy. And we got 101 people in here, man. People are. People must not have much to do today. I guess it is technically spring break for some people. So appreciate all the people in the stream, man. But yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with this Galladay stuff. But uh, let me get to this question. The culture stuff, man. I made a tweet. I was joking about it, man. Like this culture stuff. It's like we have him in there talking like BuzzFeed, uh, you know, filling out BuzzFeed questions and, and quizzes and stuff. I don't get why we're talking to him so long about this culture stuff. When we bring him in, he better not have any off the field stuff because they put him through like a, a government style clearance of how many questions they've asked him. But uh, I'm going to get to this super chat real quick and then I'm going to bring Nate on. Uh, Entertain the sauce, God. Thanks for the 499 super chat. Happy birthday, bro. Galladay got a sign on, bro. It's giving me anxiety. I agree 100%, man. I've been refreshing my screen over and over again for, for days now because I'm just waiting for this news to come through. But uh, we're bringing Nate on here. What's going on, man? What's up? I'm, I'm in that same boat. I, I have been refreshing Twitter just constantly. Yeah, and uh, Pat's on too. What's going on? What's going on, man? And I, hey, wait, and now I just, this is completely off topic, but I, I just got into a quick Twitter debate with the hub because he's telling me that Baltimore is part of the DMV and it's not, it's just not. But, <laughs> I, but yeah, yeah, it's not, man. I know Don Deal's in the chat. He, he's from DC too. Yeah, he's not, Baltimore is not the DMV. We don't, we don't, we're not part of Baltimore. But, um, <laughs> listen. Galladay is, is stressing me out, man. Just, I, I just need both sides to make a decision. Just the same way that you saw me on Twitter rants and YouTube rants about uh, about Leonard Williams. It wasn't because like I don't want to pay Leonard Williams. It was because I just want us to be decisive. I don't yeah. want us to, to be held hostage for days and days without making a decision and then, you know, missing out on players that we would sign and, and to, you know, to replace that production. Yeah, but uh, what are you guys thinking about this whole situation? I I, I could start off with Nate. I I mean I I think I I agree a hundred percent. And in terms of the Galladay thing, like I'm all for doing your due diligence. I believe in that. I understand making sure that the players you're signing are going to work out, making sure you're getting the guys you expect in the way you expect them to to perform and to fit in this locker room. I get the culture is very important. I understand those things, but this has just been going on for altogether too long, just too long. This is one of those things where we got to just make a goddamn decision, guys. Uh, you're muted, Dick. 
Uh, I was saying appreciate that uh, for Big Blue and the Bronx, but uh, we can get over to Big 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 Pat. Uh, yeah, this is going on a little bit too long. Um, what I think is happening though is I think he's trying to find a team that's willing to give him eighteen point <laughs> five this last last few tries. I think the top think stabs at it. Uh huh. I think the top team that's got the offer out is the Bengals. But I don't think he wants to go play for the Bengals, but (laughs) it is what it is. He wants to play with us, but you see how fast Allen Robinson signed that that franchise tag. (laughs) (laughs) He said he didn't uh, want to go sign it, right? You saw the receiver market is like, oh, hell no. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't don't even think it's going to be a multi-year deal when he signs. I believe the smart thing for him to do is sign like a one-year 12 or 13 million dollar deal ball out and then get that money when the tv contract money kicks back in because uh yeah Yeah, the thing is i think i think this is going to be a multi-year deal i don't think the giants will put him through all of this only to bring him in for a one-year flyer deal i I think this is going to be a multi-year deal and that's why i'm so excited about it because if we bring him in at at 15 or 16 million and we have him for the next three or four years probably three years that's gonna be a bargain Gonna That's going to be a bargain, yeah, because mm-hmm. next year if we were to sign him, it'd be probably 20 just because of the market going up. But yep. I'm pretty sure this will be a multi-year deal, and I think that he wants to play for the Giants. I think yeah. he wants to no, play that's, for the Giants. That's, that's proven. He wants to play with the and, Giants. And these reports that are leaking, I think that's his agent leaking all of these reports to try to drive up the price. That's what I think is happening. But let's we'll get see. to this Super Chat. Uh, shout out to Ash Money Records for the $4.99 uh, Super Chat. I know if we sign Galladay, it gives you the freedom. We should still draft a receiver or tackle at 11. There's still questions all across the offense. And I agree with this. Um, Maybe not as much a receiver. I mean, I agree with the receiver too. But even if we don't go receiver, you cannot get mad at the Giants for addressing offense in the first round after we had the 31st ranked offense. So if we do take Rashawn Slater or we do trade back and take uh, Rashad Bateman or – Kadarius, Tony, or whoever we take, if they're on offense, you can't be mad at that pick. Yeah. I mean, unless there's just someone on defense that's so much better. And, I mean, I, I was on Big Pass Channel last night. We were talking about this. Bringing in a guy like Kenny Galladay, bringing in the talent that we've been bringing in this year, this offseason, it exactly. gives you so much needed flexibility to do what you want to do, not what you have to do from a coaching standpoint, from a roster-building standpoint. I mean, look at look at how we've been using Sterling Shepard, right? I mean, I I know he plays good football on the outside, but the point is we've had to use him on the outside. It wasn't that we could, it's that we had to. That's a problem. You don't want to be using players in a way that you have to use them. So I think just bringing in Kenny Galladay, bringing in these these lower-tier talents like John Ross, like the the defensive end whose name I am not even going to take a stab at, but (laughs) just in general it it makes a lot of sense with the philosophy that joe judge and gettleman were talking about in their press conferences we want to bring in as many good players as possible and it makes a lot of sense and for that reason i've been liking this offseason so far if they can land the big fish that's great yeah i think that's just perfect if we can get galladay with this i'd say the the top two moves that i like this offseason though reggie raglan and kyle rudolph I don't know if you guys know about Reggie Ragland, but he's actually a pretty good linebacker. Detroit just didn't use him right, and I don't think he. Was I think he's really good. Anymore. I don't think he was interested in playing with them anymore. You could tell by the way he was playing at towards the end of the season, he didn't care. But you bring him over here, I believe he's going to be starting alongside Martinez, and they're going to switch him and take Craig, Craig Crowder out. Crawford. Crawford. Yeah, Crawford, Crawford. Out on Got third right. downs when it comes to pass <laughs> coverage. But I think his pass coverage is better than what people think, too. And this Kenny G thing, man, look, Giants, don't don't die if we can't sign Kenny Galladay. <laughs> I promise you, the first round, we're getting Waddle, Smith, Baton. We're going to get somebody that yeah, first Yeah, we'll round get somebody. If we don't get Kenny G. And then, look, that money that we're going to get Kenny G, what about putting it towards a Dory Jackson? Or somebody like that, a second corner. It's speaking not going to – go ahead. Speaking, yeah, sorry. Speaking of second corners, y'all might not have seen, apparently Pittsburgh is putting Steve Nelson on the market now. Mm-hmm. 28 years old, that's CB2, uh, CB1 production. Yeah. I'm interested. I don't know I'm about interested. trading for him. I don't know about that, but nah, – I, mean, I, I, I would rather take my chances on the uh, Kyle Fuller. 
I will say. I don't know if he got signed yet. Is going to the Broncos. Oh, he already got signed? No, nah, but that's where he wants to go. That's where his old defensive coordinator is. I promise you he's going to go to the Broncos. I will say that I would, the- I would poke around with J.C. Jackson from the Patriots. They only got a second rounder on them. I would poke around with that. A second round pick for uh, Jackson with nine interceptions. Come on, man. I, I'll do that one too if I had the money. Yeah. If I don't sign, if I don't sign uh Kenny G, that first round pick's gonna be a receiver. The second round pick more likely was gonna be a DB or yeah. a lineman. I'll give up a second round pick for JC Jackson. I mean, yeah. also, listen. We're all clamoring to try and to try and get Evan Ingram out of here now that we've gotten Kyle Rudolph in the building. He's still got some trade value. Hook him up with a pick, send them in as a package, and we can try and bring somebody in. Only uh, on the team I see giving us like a third round pick for Ingram is the Colts. That's the only team I can see. And maybe the Packers, because they like weapons at tight end. Maybe the Packers, a third what about round the Bills? pick. I was thinking the Bills. Yeah, the Bills, but I think they're gonna go Pat Fryermuth first round. I, I honestly, yes, I don't. I'm not sure. Now, listen, he should be there, but I'm not. I mean, they're not 100 percent sure that he'll be there. I, I think yeah. the Jaguars could very well take Pat Fryermuth at 25. Possible. Yeah. But that 18.5, like nah, I'm, that's no way in hell he's getting 18.5. Nah, all the other army. receivers getting. No. I wouldn't even be mad. Y'all might sign, think I'm crazy. I wouldn't even be mad if we signed somebody like Antonio Brown. I wouldn't be mad at all. I would be. Well, we have to have a, a three-day conference with him to, to, to check out his character. <laughs> yeah, we have to see. We know he's crazy. So, I mean, just bring we him We know in. he's out of his mind. It, yeah. We have to see if it's just Tom Brady that can keep him tame. We can bring Tom Brady. Way to be tame, so. I, I, I'm not messing around with, uh, with Antonio Brown. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I'm not trying to be the Raiders up in here. There, there's some <laughs> things that just ain't. That ain't it. I'm sorry. Antonio Brown ain't it. <laughs> Antonio Brown just needs structure, man. That's all he needs, man. Because Bill Belichick like, works my, so well on him. But think of – he did, though. He, he actually that was, was, that was, that was something that happened. He was playing well. That was just something that, that happened That was something before. that, yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, the thing is, all that time with Mike Tomlin, he had his outbursts and stuff, but there wasn't anything huge. When he goes to the Raiders where John Gruden is just being a cowboy, he's just doing whatever he wants, that's when you saw Antonio Brown just pretty much explode. Right. And that's facts. I think Antonio Brown will play for the vet minimum for Tom Brady, man. I really, feel like, I really feel like he would. Don't be surprised if he does. <laughs> Go back I wouldn't be surprised there. at all. <laughs> Because uh, I don't think he has any options. I'll just be That's honest a- with you. I don't think he has any options. Maybe the Jets. He's just, no. at this point, he's just you don't leave pissed Tom all Brady over his Jets, reputation man. by now. I think Juju will be on the Jets, though. Really? You think so? And Juju's think so. not a number one receiver. Yeah, that's, a, no, that's my not. thing. I don't really, I'm not really as like, oh, like scared about him because of the dancing and stuff. It's just funny to me. But I just don't think that he could be a number one receiver. I don't think he is. He's he's proved that after Antonio Brown left, straight downhill. Yep. And And he's also had some of the most horrible, like, quarterback play. But even just watching him just before the ball gets thrown, he's he's not. I I went back and looked at all of his big plays when he had 1,400 yards. Every single one of them was because the coverage was all rolled over to A.B. and he had one-on-one coverage. So, yeah, he's not a number one. For me, I, I just – like let, let's look at Juju Smith-Schuster. You can say what you want about the off-field stuff, I, I guess the on-field stuff when you, when you talk about the logo <laughs> or whatever, but you, you can say what you want about the dancing and the TikToking and that kind of crap. I'm honestly just more concerned with the fact that he isn't a good solution for us. He doesn't fit yeah. what we need. He's another slot guy that isn't a number one by any stretch of the word. It just doesn't make sense. Plus, he's going to get paid something by someone stupid, probably the Jets. So, I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense. It's never been yeah. an option that I liked, and it, it is what it is. Yeah, I think he's like a watered-down Chris Godwin. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's a slot guy, man. And yeah. that, that, Oh, man. whoa, as we speak, Adam Schefter, former Steelers receiver Juju Smith-Schuster, is returning to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, that's wow. where he goes. No, I did hear this interview. I did hear this interview that he did when I was just doing my research on him. He was saying that 
he didn't want to have to deal with going to a new team and like having get having to get new players to accept him in a new locker room to accept him. So I feel like he might have taken less because he just doesn't feel that, that a new yeah, locker room I, would be as accepting. I told you. I mean, because he can go with Chase Claypool and they can make their TikToks like just like last year. So I told I, I gotta you, say though, one year deal, man, it's a one year prove it deal. I told you. <laughs> yeah. And I I gotta say though. If if the Steelers could just have a good quarterback and some better offensive line play, they're winning the Super Bowl. They never will. Exactly. I mean, Ben is just dragging them down by the ankles, and it's just not getting better. <laughs> they brought in Dwayne Haskins, and that immediately <laughs> went bad. Immediately. It was hey, the most look, predictable man. thing to happen all offseason. He comes in two weeks later. They're saying, oh, we're not certain about his future with the team. No shit you're not certain about his future with the team. Hey, look, and Ben man. Roethlisberger's coming back this year with the arm that can't even throw the ball 40 yards downfield. They're sure Roethlisberger like he's Tom Brady. They're going to give Honestly. him all – like, man, all the things that they say about Eli are true about Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger right. has had stacked teams his entire career. Mm-hmm. Entire he's career. had help all I mean, look time. at his skill positions right now. Look at what he's got there. <laughs> It's unbelievable. He's never had a team that didn't have great skill position. Never and a great had a offensive team. line. Hey, exactly. I now mean, he this, finally has this some past stuff year. Line. This year might be the first year he doesn't have at least two to three all pros on his on his offensive exactly. line. Yep. Because uh, my boy retired from center. He uh, retired. Pouncey. Pouncey. Yeah, and didn't he have uh, that that center before him? What was it like Brett Keasley or something? Uh-huh. Another all pro. And by like, the way. Speaking of his center, speaking of Marquise Pouncey, man, Ben Roethlisberger, <laughs> yet another asshole move. Him and Marquise Pouncey were apparently like best friends forever during their entire yeah. careers in Pittsburgh. And they both said, listen, man, if you retire, I'm going with you. And it was like a pack they had. Marquise Pouncey re- retires. Two weeks later, Ben Roethlisberger, I'm coming back, guys. I'm man. dragging my corpse back on the field. This is the same dude that was him and up females in the club, man. Yeah, he this guy, man. <laughs> yeah Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> yes. People act like that never happened, man. That's what I, people just act like a slide by it, like, and they're like, the, "He's a great guy." I'm like, "What are you? Where are you? Okay." I mean, with a name like Ben Roethlisberger, what do you expect? Exactly, Roethlisberger. That's a weird last name. Mm-hmm. That sounds like you do something <laughs> in the club. Exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he sound he, like you want to do something. You ain't you ain't dropping a guy named Ben Roethlisberger <laughs> and expecting a clean resume. Hey, but uh-uh. y'all gonna start y'all y'all gonna start listening to me. I told you about Juju. Nobody's gonna sign him for top tier money. He's yeah, not, not a for a multi year deal though. He got to do a one year prove it deal with a team that he already played for. That tells you about him. <laughs> That's so sad. And I'm telling you, sign right, ready. He got a one year prove it deal as well. He will be signing. And it, it does years, say a massive pay cut. Eight point nine million next year. Did, have you, did you see the contract? That huh? Do you see Juju's contract? No, uh, it's one, one year, one eight year million. Exactly, eight million, man. Exactly. <laughs> See, and, and like I, the thing that makes me really not want him is when he sat down in an interview, the first thing he said was, yeah, a lot of people reach out to me and they ask me like how I can be so famous on TikTok and on the Internet and social media. I'm like, it seems like he's really focused on building his brand, which is it's no problem because, I mean, I could have a job and then I can do this, too. But yeah. it's it's just football is a whole different animal. Like if you're not 100 percent, right. football ain't just it, a job. Football is your there's life. A, yeah, there's a ceiling that he's going to hit. Like, he's he's only going to be so good. And I guess for him, that's a number two receiver. And, and I hey, think hey, 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 hey. Every, everything – Real quick, just real quick, guys. You was on the channel last night too, Dig, weren't you? Yeah. That cute cash guy, remember what he said he was being looked at at Florida, <laughs> North yeah. Carolina? This dude is legit, man. This really? Oh, you saw his highlight? <laughs> yeah, this dude no, is man. ridiculous. <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> man, that dude's good, man. Yo, by the way, Big Pat, everything he has been saying over the last few minutes has been coming true. Apparently, per Adam Schefter now, uh, the interesting thing about Juju's one-year deal with Pittsburgh is that the Ravens made a hard push to sign him, and he took significantly less money to come back to Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he didn't want to have to go to a new locker room and have to worry about them accepting what he does, which he he's very passionate 
about doing whatever he's doing online. That's his first priority. Do they accept all of me? So Pittsburgh is going to accept it for another year. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I knew, yeah, I I knew this time was coming once I seen Chase Claypool get them three touchdowns. I said Pittsburgh done did it again. Man, <laughs> them dudes, man, them dudes done had receivers since 2002. Yeah, forever. Forever, man. When when Ben Roethlisberger, Ward, got, and Mike Hines Wallace, Ward, and Randall L, then they went to Mike <laughs> Wallace, Mike Wallace Plaxico, yeah, you know Plaxico everybody. was there, and then they had uh, and they <laughs> look had, at Eric. Uh, look at he Eric. said, "Big Pat, stop smoking blacks in the house." <laughs> <laughs> I don't even smoke blacks in here, man. Oh, but shout out, shout out to the chat, shout out to everybody in here, man. We got two hundred and twelve people in the stream. This is about eighty That's people crazy. more than I've ever had. In the middle of the day, so thank you for the birthday support, man. <laughs> I mean, everybody's oh, been, been when they stream this, this whole Kenny Galladay thing. The yeah, numbers yeah. Crazy. I was gonna do one, but I was like, forget it, I'll just hop on digs, man. <laughs> I didn't even know it was your birthday. I didn't even know they said you married too. I didn't even know you was married. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what's up. Man, but, now Juju's on Twitter trying to spin it like he like this is his big move. He says, this man. is my home. They're going to need a wrecking ball to take me out of here. Man, get oh. out of here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, if, the Giants, if the Giants would have offered him $15 million, he would be right yeah. in the – Exactly. <laughs> right. He would be right coming over to New York. Man, the Raiders Raiders, who do you think you're fooling, man? Yeah, the Raiders <laughs> probably offered him two years, $21 million. And he was like, you know what? I'll take this $8 million stay exactly. where I know – I'm good. I could play the slot uh, receiver for another year. By the way, here's the official <laughs> offers, apparently, according to sources, and this is backed up by a couple of verified accounts. Kansas City offered him eight million with three million incentives. Steelers offered he him eight million that. straight, and Baltimore offered him nine million with four million incentives. So he should have went to the Chiefs, man. Just I would have went to the ranks. Chiefs. Just because, because when you like, people weren't making fun of him as much. When the Steelers were undefeated, so if yeah. you're winning, then you can do all of the dancing you want. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I believe he. This is who I'm <laughs> He's another one. He's another one that's going to be signed a two year, ten million dollar year, <laughs> ten million dollars <laughs> next year. I believe oh, he gets man. benched when uh, by Deontay Johnson this year coming up. Mm-hmm. That dude, Deontay Johnson, makes me sick, man. I had him on a fantasy team all year. Yeah. I would start him. He would get zero catches. You I bench him, he's got 20. Get yep. or something. Yep. Oh, Diggy, I am in that same boat with you. And the drops. The drops. The, yeah, that's the rig one, man, the drop. Oh. He's basically like everything that they say about John Ross, that's what he is, except a different mm-hmm. player. Like the drops and the injuries, man. Evan Ingram and Deontay Johnson, that's just the worst to have. Like, pick one. You can't be dropping and be injured, man. I tell you what, the Cal Rudolph signing uh, makes Evan Ingram where we can use him the way he's supposed to as well. Uh, use him as a yeah. weapon, not as an actual inline tight end trying to do those little little stick routes. <laughs> those little stick, stick and nod, yeah. yeah. The stick route is going to work with uh, Rudolph because he knows how to run it. Evan Ingram didn't know how to run that stick route, man. He was, like, hopping into it, man. I yeah, don't, he didn't know how to run it. it. Yeah, I don't understand what he was doing. But now we can line them up in the slot, and if you put like a linebacker on them, we could we can maneuver them on a wheel route and yeah. stuff. Now we could just put them on street routes uh, up the seam, and if you bring your uh, safety over, now we can have somebody like a John Ross streaming up the other side of the field. Hopefully, of yeah. hopefully we, get- we actually hopefully we actually use him that way and don't just make him run a stick on the other side of the line <laughs> right. because that, that I'm He's oh saying- man. <laughs> I, I really just hope that we don't just put him on the other side of the line don't and run fuck another with stick, me, Jason. Man. Don't do it. <laughs> right. But uh shout out to Deron Osmond for the two dollar super chat. Shefty reported the Ravens inquired about Galladay. Yeah. He's not yeah. going to the Ravens unless he takes a huge pay cut. What's He's their cap not. space? Is it that low? Um Josina Anderson said that their cap space was really low. So I'm thinking if he goes there, he's gonna have to take a pay cut and i guess like there's the public cat space and the imaginary reporter insider yeah. cat space that they know yeah, about that's, that's true i mean so, spot track has it is eight million right now so i don't know exactly which is better than us because yeah. i te- technically we're like 7.4 but yeah, for so. some reason i guess they're they're strapped for some reason and for who knows for insider news <laughs> i don't think he wants to go to baltimore 
Well, yeah, because he won't, he won't, he's not going to be able to put up the same numbers. And I mean, who wants to be a receiver on a team that runs the ball 70 times a game? I say it is the worst thing for Kenny Galladay this offseason was not getting franchised. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Because the way it is. If he would have got franchised, he would have. Yeah, he would have got guaranteed that money. And you're thinking, like, if he wants a one-year prove-it deal, it's better to play for $18 million than, than to play for, you know, 12. 10. Yeah. <laughs> the league economy is just all messed up, man. Over the next yeah. few years, we are just going to be all over the place with these salary tell, caps. Get ready, get ready for $350 million salary caps over the next five oh, years. Oh, yeah. It's going to be insane. Yeah. yeah and Hub, Hub just tweeted out, that? $8 million, that's cheap for, for Juicy. <laughs> Did, did you see that contract they signed? These fools oh. signed a, a, a 11 year, 10 oh, million yeah, dollar a year contract. The NFL, so much. ESPN yep, so got much two money. Super Bowls. Yep. I know, I saw so that's much money. Crazy. I mean, so that's it's about, that's the NFL has got to become the, the MLB in here. Yeah, that's, that's salary. Cap yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Uh, what Fade said, I'm thinking he wants a long term deal because they said he kind of like laughed off the Bengals offer because it was only one year. So yeah. I think he wants that security. I mean, hopefully we can get him we can get him for that long term deal three years Look, and you know is, pay him that 15. This is and exactly the what way, you said. His agent put that 18.5 out there. I think the Giants gave him three years, maybe 42 million, 45 yeah, million. Maybe. In the chat. I didn't even see him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Authentics in the chat, man. Didn't even see him. He was saying, uh, oh, okay. he was saying, authentic in the beard will be back right around the draft. So y'all stay tuned for that. Be authentic back has sooner. A great channel, man. We need you. <laughs> yeah, y'all should, should do just a one-off, like a one-off kind free of, agency you know, free stuff. agency review, NFC East free agency review. But mm. uh, I know y'all, y'all are busy. You got a lot of stuff going on. But need my authentic cool in the beard fix, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been like every Thursday. I'm like, are they doing it? What's going on? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> They abandoned us. Hey, yeah, look, I, I know they got stuff going on. Yeah. yeah, that's that agent doing that, though, man. That's crazy. Yeah, Todd France is, is – we should have known that this was going to happen because Todd France did the same thing with Dak Prescott. So, mm -hmm. he's going to try to get every single possible every time that you can get. Every he can. Every single one. And so, I got to say. He doesn't, if he doesn't sign with us, he's not signing with anybody. Yet. I think he takes a year off. And wait till that free agent market opens back up again, and they'll try it again. You think he'll take a year off? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I don't think he'll take a year off. I mean, he's twenty. What twenty yeah. seven? I don't think he'll take a year off at this point. I don't think so. Okay. I mean, by the way, just in terms of the cap, right? I I think a lot of people are talking about how this is going to become the NBA. I I think it's going to be more like the MLB. I, I think, think it is it's going to be a lot more like baseball. Where in baseball, for those yeah. that don't know, there is no salary cap. It's yeah. going to be effectively like that. Eventually, the money's going to catch up, and we're going to be back to here, but just with ridiculous numbers. Exactly. But for like a good few years, it's just going to be every year people saying, oh, man, I want to get my money now so I can get even more money as the economy advances. But then the owner's going to come in and say, hey, I'll sign you for 10 years and $7 billion if you right. want to come back long term. <laughs> Man, so. you, the contract y'all got to see is Messi's contract. He's making like 200 he makes million so a much. year. So much. 200 million a year. And like, yeah, and then they try the, to, they, the and then the thing is, and the thing is with the, with, with soccer, with, with, with football worldwide, listen, they don't even have their salaries as public. Right. It's like you, it's like all this is speculation. But uh, he's saying Baltimore is such a good move for him. I think Galladay wants to be like that. I think he wants to really elevate his game. Yeah, and I think he does too. And he doesn't see that in Baltimore. I, I yeah, that. I mean, I think with Baltimore, you 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 see that you might be able to win sooner. So that's one thing. But I think he wants to elevate his individual game. And the Giants are building up. They're looking like they're going up. So this is your opportunity to elevate your game and, you know, maybe win too. So he's probably looking at the Giants and maybe the Bengals too. As, as a team that he can kind of have both. And I think I think the Ravens are a good option. I think the Giants and Ravens at this very moment are in a similar place in terms of what they really need, which is pretty much Kenny Galladay. Yeah. And I think <laughs> that that's one thing checked off the list for both. Okay, we're good there. Next is the money side, and apparently he's not going to get as much as he wants, so that's not that's pretty much a moot point, right? Yep. So then you're looking at just in general, okay, where do I want to go? I want to go to the Ravens, a running first team 
that isn't going to use me like the, the true weapon that I know I am. Especially I want to go to the Giants, where I know I'm going to be the focal point of that offense, and I know that I'm going to get those targets I want. And then you, you got to think again. A lot of people I've seen on Twitter saying some dumb stuff like, I'd rather be a receiver with Lamar Jackson than Daniel Jones, and that is just moronic. Because first <laughs> off, gonna... Lamar Jackson is a run-first quarterback. Second off, at this point, Daniel Jones is a better passer than Lamar Jackson. So, And, I, and even I don't if know you want to say that Lamar Jackson is a better passer – just the offense in general, he's not going to get the same targets. It's just not going to happen. Ooh, it's not, not going um, to be nearly the same. Big Blue in the Bronx, let me know if this is a new report or if this is just is just you just saying no, that. that's, but, that's uh, from earlier today. Okay, but uh, shout out to Alex Sims for the 199 Super Chat. Bears offered 12. Kenny grew up in Chicago. and a fan. He's not going to the Bears. <laughs> he's, he's just not. I just don't see Stop. it, man. Like, to, to turn down, first off, if you go to the Bears for twelve million, I feel like Baltimore will give you twelve million. So why not just wow. go there? Raquan McMillan um, just signed a one-year deal with New England. <laughs> New England is just signing man, everybody that can get their hands. New England on, have this all. Listen, time. man. Listen, no. man. I said this. If you didn't see this coming, you weren't looking hard enough at New England. No, they, I saw it coming. I know, they, I know this dude on Twitter is not million. trying to tell me. That that he's not trying to sit here and school me on what's part of the DMV. <laughs> yeah. but, it's a, but hey, like, it's a whole nother discussion. But that's crazy to me. Yeah, you don't but keep like, saying what you were saying. But listen, the Patriots—they needed so badly to retool their roster. They needed so much coming in this year, and then you saw, oh wait. They have the third most cap space in the league. They have seventy million dollars to spend okay, right now. Yeah, I can and see. And now, that. now you see that all these guys are are going to be cheaper than usual in this weird ass economy. And exactly. You're like, hmm, the Patriots yeah. are going to get the extra large shopping cart today. <laughs> and boy, did exactly. they! They filled that thing up. They took it to the checkout hey, aisle, my dude. Hey, and they ain't done. Yeah. They're going back for another lap through the store. Oh, yeah, man. Newton shows that he's Superman again. Hey, you might see that. Yeah, he he will, man. He will. But uh, shout out to Lex044 for the 499 Super Chat. If Galladay signs with the Ravens, it would be to chase a ring. They barely throw the ball. If a receiver wants to put up stats, it's a bad place to be, which is pretty much what we were saying. I mean, maybe he might be able to win. And then that's assuming he could beat Kansas City, which he hasn't shown he can. That's assuming that he's going to be able to compete and, and continue to, you know, Beat teams like the Bills, beat teams like the Patriots that just spent a whole bunch of money. The AFC is so, just stacked right now. Yeah, I in mean, the NFC, you pretty much just have the Bucks. That's the only team I'm scared of in the in the NFC. And for some reason, the Giants always play up to Tom Brady, no matter how bad or good they are. So yeah, yeah. we are. Yeah, and, we always try to beat Tom Brady. <laughs> like Marcus hey, Golden bro. catching pick sixes and stuff. And yeah. but uh, Hub just, is coming in here pretty soon. Just to to say, j- listen. I don't want to be a deep ball, go up and get it receiver on an offense whose best passing concept is the RPO. I just don't think that makes any kind of sense. Okay, uh, let's see. Such as is saying that, that this is new. So let me check what Dan Graziano said. We got the hub on here, man. What's going on? Hold up. Uh, what's good, man? Yo, what's up, guys? How everybody doing? Uh I heard y'all was talking a little bit about New England before and then a little bit about Galladay. All I got to say is I low-key got a bad feeling about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> <I'm> like, worry. <laughs> but at the same time, I've also been saying, like, you know, I put it on Twitter. I said it on the channel before. I'm like, Galladay isn't the end-all, be-all. But a lot of Giants fans are going to be heartbroken because they're treating it as if they're, it's, it's the I end-all, said. be-all. But Damn. I will say this. Um, this man, he's asking to be paid too much is the feeling I'm going to get from it. And it's not – like his actual value because his value is worth what he's asking for it's just yeah. that in the market he's being right. asked to be paid too much like juju just went for eight million dollars juju Believe was the receiver me. right yeah. behind him and and you could say all right well juju took a discount to stay with the team he wants to stay with and it's like no you look at the other offers the chiefs offered him one year eight mil also with three million incentives the ravens offered him one year nine mil with four million incentives they were all eight, nine million dollar contracts. So that, what yeah. that's also telling me is that a couple of days ago when the tweet came out saying Galladay is actually valued around 14 to 16 mil by some teams, I found yeah. it hard to believe, but that might be it. Yeah. And that could be why <laughs> this is taking so long, if I'm be honest with you. Like I wouldn't be mad. Like if I'm the Giants, 
I, I'd sure I'd give him the 16 mil over like three or four years because that's that's a discount on him. Yeah, but maybe so that's why be. they're they're taking their time. And yo, maybe that's why we still are making signings. You know, it's not big signings, but it's signings, depth players, and whatnot. Yeah. It, it adds up. Maybe that's why they're so comfortable doing it because they're like, if we get him, it's gonna be way cheaper than you know anybody expected. Yeah. But uh, let let me get these two things out of the way first of all. Thank you for for having 330 seconds. That's crazy to me. This is about almost 200 more than I ever have. But uh, also, there is a tweet from Dan Graziano saying that Kenny Galli is still visiting with the Giants at this particular second. This was five minutes ago. When yeah, that's like, that. what, two, two, three straight days now? How many straight days? So he's still visiting. So I guess just they're, still giving them, it, they're still giving them new BuzzFeed tests and, and stuff like that. So. Is that <laughs> is giving out these these these. Little I think what's happening right now is they're negotiating. I believe the Giants are at 14, and the agent said 18. The Giants said it'll be 14. 16. The agent said 18. The Giants <laughs> all the Giants got to do, Pat, all the Giants got to do is be like, Juju just signed for eight. That's literally it. That, well, Juju has that, nothing that, to do with Kenny right Galladay. Oh, no. The reason I'm but, saying that is because he's the only comparable receiver to Kenny on the market. I don't think he's comparable. I, but I uh, shout so. out to Entertainer to Sauce Golf for the 199 Super Galladay? Sticker. I said he's the only comparable receiver to Galladay on the market right I don't, now. I don't think I don't. I so think then, the do you think that there's no comparable to, to receiver Galladay, on the market to him? I think, I think the so. closest comp to Galladay was uh was Corey Davis. That's yeah. the closest. And he wasn't too close. He got, he, exactly, and that's what I'm saying. So he's got to get more than than Corey Davis at least. I think I think the free agent receiver market would have been a one A one B with him and Allen Robinson, but Allen Robinson accepted the tag because he's smart. Uh, right. So I, I think that one would have got more money than, than, than yeah. That. So I, yeah, I think Gall- with, with the guys that ended up being free agents, Galladay is the clear number one to me by a mile. I oh, think one hundred percent. That's not what I'm arguing though. I'm saying Juju in terms of talent is the only comparable one on the market. I don't think he's comparable though. I don't think it's comparable, man. Y'all tripping? He is. I, I think I think the hub was saying that he was he's the best receiver on the market besides Galladay right now. Right well, oh, before he got signed, I, I, that's exactly I what I'm say saying. Comparable. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's saying. He's the, oh, he's okay. the best. He's the yeah. best receiver well, the best yeah. on the market besides Galladay right now. Yeah, he yeah. is. That's so who's not- left right now? I mean, Will Fuller's gone now. So it I was, guess all his I think Rashad the next- Perryman is gone. So who's there now? Yeah, I think the next was like Josh Reynolds or somebody like that. Yeah, Reynolds is there. Reynolds is my backup plan if we don't get Galladay. No, my backup. He's plan my is backup draft. plan, and then. Yeah, no, I'm, I mean, I'm, with Kush on I'm, this go- one. I'm going with the draft, but uh, Reynolds, I would pick up still. Like, the I reason I don't Reynolds get Reynolds is because we already speed. got somebody like similar to him in terms of what we need in Ross, you know, like a depth you know, outside receiver. No, not, not in place. No, I mean, outside not, depth. No, I, I want Reynolds for the big body receiver. That's why I would take him. Yeah, I, I, would, I would rather get a guy I, like Tamori and Terry. Ross, yeah. would you? Well, I mean, it's it's. You can't really promise that you'll be able to get to Maury and Terry. Uh, he's going to be there in the third. other options when there. When it's I'm so saying. spaced out, though, yeah. yeah that, that's no, no, I, I get that. It's just yeah. with the amount of options that are there for even just a big body receiver, a possession catch receiver, I'd rather go to the draft. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I, I think Josh Reynolds is depth all the way. That makes sense. And stop the cap. Gorgeous, chat, yeah. chat, stop the cap. Don't t- stop the cap. I'm not seeing anything on Twitter, so stop the cap. I just refreshed my page. What's, what's cap, happening? Chat. What the, the cat the chat is capping. All right, what, somebody, what was like, anything. somebody was like he went to the Ravens and then Evan Ingram was just like <laughs> no and I'm like no I got Twitter pulled up stop lying. So, so do I I'm not saying anything. <laughs> oh my god he just went to the <laughs> you you can't trust somebody with with I don't a, I don't even see where the person picture. in chat was saying that it's Dion gaming right here. I pinned it. Uh, okay yeah I don't I don't think I don't think so. You Y'all can't really trust happen, somebody with bro. an all black profile picture. I don't trust Dion Prince of Darkness. Something did come up though. That Pittsburgh will either cut or trade Steven Nelson. That's, That's crazy. Oh, well, cut him. Cut him. If cut they him. cut him, and he's only due eight million this year. That's crazy, man. I would sign him Steve Nelson million? so fast. Yeah, I would. They so, um, bring back Juju. That's what you're telling me. Uh, Dion just said, "What if he went to the Ravens, though?" Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Doesn't make you right, bro. That's like Wesley Steinberg. We don't know about him yet. <laughs> nah, nah. Don't compare him to Wes Steinberg. Wes Steinberg's an absolute legend. Don't be saying. Shout that. out to Evan Ingram for one ninety nine super chat. <laughs> hey, Evan Ingram. I mean, listen, you didn't get your big deal yet, but one ninety nine, man, you're a millionaire. But uh, someone tell me it's gonna be okay. I don't like Rudolph. 
Evan, it's I'm going to keep it real okay, with you. Evan. It's not going to be okay. You better it's, be gone, it's, bro. It's going to be okay. Wherever you're, you're gonna playing, you're going to have to put your house you'll, up you'll, for you'll sale, my playing. dude. You'll be playing wherever you're playing. That's that's what I'll say. Uh, but but let me get you guys' uh, opinion on this. If we bring back Evan Ingram and Rudolph, who do you think is going to see, be seeing pl- more playing time? Not necessarily who's oh, starter. Them there? In, in reps or as the, the, the prototypical in reps, end? reps in general. In reps, Ingram. Yeah, no reps doubt. is going to be no Ingram, doubt. no doubt, because you're going to put him on four receiver sets and things like right. that. You're not going to do that with Rudolph. He's going to be there in a lot more yeah, packages no. than Rudolph is. Yeah. But That's what as I was far as about. impact, I believe Rudolph is going to have more of an impact. Because I agree with that, man. <laughs> with the blocking. Rudolph is one of the best top. blocking guys out there. And I believe I think it, Sorry. He gets, I believe he gets Daniel Jones about five to good six touchdowns this year coming Agreed. up. The Reds. Yeah. Agreed. I think Toy Lolo is the man out. I, I don't, I, I just don't think that they're going to get rid of Caden Smith, especially because Toy Lolo was not, he's a blocking tight end and he wasn't that, he wasn't necessarily the dominant blocker like that I Caden expected Smith. him to be. I don't think they like uh, Caden Smith. I agree. I agree. They might not like him, but me because personally, he's I not would. a bad player. They just don't never play him. <laughs> so, man. And unlike uh, unlike Ingram, bro, at least Rudolph catches on his career sixty eight percent of his you know past sixty eight seventy something. Man, his, his catch hey, is crazy. Hey. On, on Twitter, Big Blue United just posted a poll: Will the Yankees end up signing Kenny Galladay? And I <laughs> voted no just for the laughs, and I was the <laughs> only one that had voted. <laughs> so it's a hundred percent. Hey, no. they said the Steelers' offer to Juju at first was only seven point five million. <laughs> I mean, listen, man, My all God. of the dancing and all of the games. I mean, it was just the happen. deserved disrespect. <laughs> but a uh, shout out to Sticky Fingers, Stink, Sticky Finger Tips, Sticky Finger Tips, seven Z twelve. Uh, oh, okay, there you go, there you go. Yeah, I got people to help me with the reading here. But uh, shout out for, to you for the 199 <laughs> super chat. Eagles Meeting tried side. Juju Meeting and side. he curved him. The Eagles offered. They, the Eagles yeah, he turned, turned. Yeah, he turned yeah. on the Eagles. Yeah. That's Nobody wants to, to go play for the Eagles right exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, the the thing Philly. that's scaring me though, the thing that's scaring me is after they signed Will Fuller, after the Dolphins signed Will Fuller, I really do not want Jamar Chase to be on the Eagles, man. Yeah. But uh, shout out to Omega Supreme for the five dollars <laughs> super chat. Through. <laughs> Kenny will not leave to go home without a contract from the Giants today. I mean, Watch. I hope, but like yeah. I said, I got a, a bad feeling, but I hope y'all, I hope the fans that are really, really thinking is the end all be all, please just remember before Monday, this wasn't even a realistic thing. No fan realistically thought we were going to get him, and we were all legit fine with the draft, which oh, is like, Diggy. okay, Diggy, you're not man. a fan, you're a super fan. <laughs> and so we were all like, listen, bro, the draft is the way. You know what I mean? So just just chill out with it. You know, it might not happen. I don't know. It's taking a little like bit too I long said, for my comfort. Yeah, like I said, man, if a team wants a player bad enough and that player has interest yeah. and they like, really want the player, now, bro. it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. I, I said, <laughs> you look really nervous about it. <laughs> 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 he looks real nervous, nervous about all, it, man. Man, because if we don't get him, we go for if we don't get him, we'll take Waddle and Devontae Smith. Man. Exactly. Because like especially it's that since simple. everybody is taking these wide receivers uh in free agency, some of these top three wide receivers, one of one of them is one hundred percent gonna be here. Yeah. I mean I mean that's it, what I've been, been saying for so long. I've said this since like week six of the season when everyone in, in the Giants fandom started screaming their heads off for a receiver. Guys. There are not going to be three receivers in the top 10. I promise. I promise there's not. No, and everyone not. was screaming at me that there was. There is not going to be three receivers in the top 10. See, it yeah. just isn't. One, one thing that I'll say, though, is that we kind of got caught up into looking at it. This is why all of the all of the <laughs> the boring, fun-killing people always say, don't do we, mock drafts before free agency because – Everybody was looking at these teams as if they weren't going to go out and get receivers and free agency. So once they did that, that obviously changes everything. So when you look at that and you say, if the draft was before free agency, then that's very possible for three receivers to go top 10 because of just what. where their team were. Tell you what, something and then, interesting. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'll just finish it up. Uh, it would have been very possible, but now that you see that the Jets have brought in some people, so they're obviously not going to go wide receiver at two. The Dolphins brought in Will Fuller, who I think is a starting level receiver, and they have other starters there already. They probably won't go receiver. And then you're only looking at the Eagles and the Lions. 
Mm-hmm. And the Lions, uh, I don't think they signed anybody. But um, you're looking at Eagles and the Lions for the only teams that will take receivers. And then it's probably not that likely that both will take receivers. And one may take Kyle Pitts. So – you're, you're, you're right. And I, I think I think some Diggy saying is real important. Uh, so, something a lot of people may not be considering is how this free agency is going to impact this draft class. So yeah. there's spots in this draft, right? Positionally, this is a very lopsided draft from position to position. There's a whole lot of receivers and a whole lot of offensive tackles, and there's not very many edge rushers, and there's not too many guards and stuff like that. <laughs> per source per Wes Steinberg uh, but listen you're gonna see some teams in the first round that went out and like Diggy said signed receivers they're gonna pass on some of these guys and some of yeah. these guys are gonna fall there's gonna be some guys in the second and third round that should not be there by any means don't be surprised yeah. if there's some guys that really should be first round picks it Terrace Marshall Terrace Marshall yep. but uh, shout example. out to Anthony Shout out to Anthony Ojeda uh, for the 499 Super Chat. What's up, my brothers? Die Hard Giants fan here. If we get KG, could we also get MB? I was wondering who MB Who's is. Who's that? Good question. All right. Let uh, me know who that is. But uh, Michael York, B. Stand Jordan. Up, let's go, KG. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was thinking Miles Boykin, but obviously not Miles Boykin. <laughs> nah, what are you talking about? Miles Boykin is the GOAT. What are you saying? <laughs> but, uh, shout out to Mike. McTegu, let me know if I pronounced that wrong. I probably did. <laughs> Mike McTeague. I yeah, Mike Mc, McTeague. Mc, this man said McTegu. No, he didn't say Mc. You said Met, Metuhu. The, it was the eye that threw me off, but it probably is Mike McTeague. Sorry for that. For the 199 <laughs> Super Chat. If we let him leave again, he will feel disrespectful. It's all that yeah, reading, he, man. The reading's tough. If we let him leave, listen, I mean, listen, I'm reading like 30 something pages every day, every day for school and stuff, but, uh, I think if we let him leave, he will be disrespected. He he won't. One hundred percent. I'll be honest. 100%. I'd be disrespected right now if I was. It's saying. a waste of time, man. Like I'm like I'm still here, right and you now. haven't. I right. feel like they had to have made an offer. No, yeah, okay, that's why I'm said, like I, I feel like they're McTee. in the negotiation okay, so room you right guys now. Had it right. I told you what's happening. They have to be negotiating. That age. There's said no way. 18, the Giants said fourteen. <laughs> like if like if they took him out to dinner. No, if they took him out to dinner. <laughs> they took him out to dinner, and then they've been talking all day, and they're still asking him questions like, "Do you really fit here?" Then at that point, I'm like, "I'm like, okay, How well, I'm gonna wrap this up." Like football, I'm gonna wrap this up, and I'm gonna go to another team because this yeah. is a waste of my time. So man, that's why I'm like, leaves, he's gone. Talk to that man for about ten minutes. They took him to dinner, and I'm telling you, eighteen, no, fourteen. <laughs> Eight, <laughs> no, fourteen. Rabbit season, duck season, rabbit yeah, right. season, duck <laughs> season. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, shout out to Mark Stewart for the five dollars super chat. Keep it a hundred, fellas. Hey man, that's what we. That's the only keep it a hundred. What? what? Like the, the, usually, there's a question after that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if you have a question with that. There's some but, spam uh, going on in chat here. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, if we get Galladay, what position should we? So, if we someone get Galladay, that's a mod, go ahead and. I'll just yeah, if we got Maz in here, I know Max was in here. I, I just put someone in timeout. But okay. I'll answer his question, though, because it, it is a good Wait question. Wait a second. That's a good question. We only got 45 likes? Come on, man. 400 Ooh, people in 45? Yo, <laughs> chat, you slacking. What's going no, on? Wait, I see 111 likes. Okay, well, I that's guess better, maybe they liked still. it that quick. I don't know. No, but yeah, but still, that's, though, that's, that's like better. that's like a 113, quarter. but man, it's 384 people watching. This should be I at know, least 124. The numbers climbing. We're yeah, climbing. that's what I'm saying. People are clicking it quick. Who did a dislike? Man? Yo, which two people did a dislike, bro? <laughs> it was probably the Washington fans on Twitter with with yeah, Kenny Galladay as their profile probably. picture they made and, a, a and a bank was dirty. Bank was dirty. <laughs> it's definitely the Washington fans that are convinced that they could beat us now, but they still can't stop Saquon's run. <laughs> but uh, shout out to Anthony Ojeda for the 199 super chat, Malcolm Butler. Yeah, that's, that's the target I'm looking at. Someone, what happened? Someone with a verified account just said Baltimore are not making a play for Galladay. Nice, I appreciate. Yeah, they it, don't Baltimore. have the money. Yeah, well, yeah but it's big that it's official. Yeah, but um. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point too. I mean, you have a whole dinner with somebody at that point. You, they have to be talking numbers today. Maybe yeah. maybe the dinner was yesterday and the physical right. was today, and now they're talking contract. If they're not, there's no way that he he still be there. There's just I no just way can't imagine how they're wasting this time right now. 
Like there was, there's no way that I would stay at a job interview after they've been asking me the same <laughs> question for two. Like, no. Listen, they're like, giving on, him, man. They're giving him the LT special right now, bro. That's what they're doing. Or they're setting up a press conference the same day. Yeah, for I those mean, of you that don't know what the LT special is in the chat, before the game sometimes, LT would invite some very gorgeous <laughs> women to his opponent's uh, <laughs> hotel room and just right. have them give him the Oh, LT I thought special. you were talking about what LT was doing in the hotel room before. No, no, no. no. LT, <laughs> that's probably what was happening last uh, yesterday. Last night was the LT special, and then today they're talking about it. I thought you were talking about what he was doing to himself before the <laughs> game. LT <laughs> had a line before the before he was doing egg. something a little oh, bit different than this. And I mean, this is, hey, I'll bingo. be real. If it bingo. gave him that edge. <laughs> can yeah. you imagine that dude playing like that and he was high? That's what I mean. <laughs> Let, well, that's why he was playing like that. Exactly. Yeah. He's more dangerous with that than without it. Listen, man. If he was sober, he probably don't even make the Giants Hall of Fame. <laughs> if, if he was sober, he'd only be the third best Wait, player I, I of all time. Wait, I skipped your super chat? I've skipped. Oh, man. I wish you would have yeah, told me he in the chat. I wouldn't too. have asked you. He had a good super chat. I wouldn't have asked you to donate again. Let me look back to see what you said. Uh, oh, it's gone. And, and if, if you're looking at StreamYard, it's gone. Yeah, It's gone, man. All right, he let said, me know what you say. Right, Just type it in the chat. I, I got it right Oh, here. no, yeah, I got it. It says he hot said, take. hot take. Devontae yeah, Smith needs to be drafted by St. Jude's Children's Hospital or he's going to be a bust. He's made out of popsicle sticks. <laughs> How mad I missed that. Man. He came in about 6 one, 158. <laughs> yeah, he's not 170, man. He's not. He's not. He's not 170. Man, if somebody Kenny is one hundred percent coming back, is this a is this a Lions fan? Because I don't think he's going back to the Lions. I think not. I think he. I think he's probably saying he's coming into the coming into the Giants. I don't know. So Justin, I don't think he's going to the Lions. Justin Simmons is officially the highest paid safety in the NFL. Yeah, how much did he get paid? Four years, sixty one mil. That's what? That's a lot of money. Simmons. That's that's. Yeah, the real Paris might have to go. It's Jabril Peppers ain't gonna be commanding Justin Simmons money. He'll be commanding close. Also, Justin Sim Simmons is a, is a free safety, so that's that's one thing. Whoa, Aaron, Aaron, let's not be, let's not go too far. He says Slayton's a top twenty receiver with a good quarterback. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> that means that he's that there's, means that he's a bona fide number wait, one. Wait, wait, there's several things true. wrong with that statement. You say it as if DJ is not a good quarterback. First of all, second of all, <laughs> the top twenty part is kind of cap. I ain't gonna hold you. That's, that's mm. a lot of cap because if he's a top twenty receiver. That means that he's uh that means that he's in the top almost in the top half of number one receivers. And we saying that he's not a number one receiver. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> doesn't we make we any ain't sense. gonna we ain't gonna be messing with that too long, but I just yeah, had to point that one out because that was receivers right now. That was no <laughs> boy. It's late right now. Oh, Moses, I'm hey, what are you what is the what is this question you're asking? He says, How far would Justin Fields bring us? About 20 yards backwards. My <laughs> God. Don't be, don't be asking me that question. I uh Mike, gross. I'm not bringing any more people on today, but uh, on Sunday I'm gonna do another one of those mock drafts, and I'll have a lot of people on that way. So so definitely nice. tune in for that around Sunday around five, and I'll have you on. Yeah, I might drive was lit last night. I like but uh shout out to Evan Anger for the 199 cups of rose, BS, and old phone. I should call one and go home. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's a good account. Hey, man. Don't be I'm liking this chat oh, right dude. now. <laughs> Simmons and Dak, shout out to Sticky Fingertips. Z12 for I didn't know that. Uh huh. Simmons and Dak both were both record deals. Same. Yeah, that's what I didn't I'm know that Todd he France. had the same. Uh, Todd agent. France is squeezing out all the money. Noah, man. what are, what are you doing, Noah? Come on, man. These these spammers are in here, just going crazy. What's going? On? I, I keep seeing that too. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Come on, Noah. What you doing? Why do those guys <laughs> do that? It Oh, he literally. Oh, he literally just. Um, he copy pasted what Ian Rapport just posted. What is? Oh, well, yeah, that's what I'm post, saying. Yeah. Like, it's not like he's copying and pasting his lies, but I'm like, why do you keep posting it? He said, "I've been in this club too long. I can't deal with this dude." <laughs> Jaden is saying, "Check Twitter. What happened?" I'm I, guessing I'm he's referring Twitter to right the now. same to the same Ian Rapport thing. <laughs> like, that's the it's, only thing. It's just yeah. a headline. It's not. It's not even related to the clip that Ian posted. The clip Ian posted was about Juju. 
it's a <laughs> question. It's not why whatever whatever y'all y'all can be excited about whatever you want enjoy your <laughs> happiness i'm not trying to get in the way of your 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 day however however you want to do it whatever floats your yeah, boat man. but y- y'all are crazy up in here <laughs> but uh i mean we we shouldn't be waiting this long man this is no. ridiculous this, this is just uh, I, dumb. Thought it, I thought it would have been done by noon but like this, this is like a contract extension like this is how <laughs> yeah. long they're talking like he's this already a giant. at this point. Nah, bro. Exactly. They're they're giving him they're giving him the Mack Trucks Deluxe tour of the facility, the surrounding area. They're helping him pick out his house, bro. Yo, they, you know, they're calling up the thing. family and whatnot. This, you know this what I'm the saying? Thing. It's they're like a holdout. Your videos except, on Twitter and everything. The Arizona's and the you know, man, I'm I'm see, you. It's it's a holdout. Except Kenny G ain't holding out from us. The Giants are holding out from Kenny G. You know what's, <laughs> that's what's going on here? Nate, you said it as a joke, but I really think that's what's happened. To bro. Exactly. It, it was only it half. Was like, yeah, I signed. Yeah, but we yeah. want to show you this right here. And you know the thing is, too? I don't even think it's the front office. I think it's the coaches that might be holding out on them. I do this Yo, about every, every 20 minutes. Every time same I don't look at my phone for more than 20 minutes, I'm like, oh, I missed it. And I'm like, nothing there. <laughs> I, <ain't gonna laughs> I mean, what's, what's the news break and it's something ridiculous more. like we paid them $19 million. If we I, paid I, them $19 like, million I, this market, man, Jesus. I remember like, like uh, two days ago. I was getting in my car to drive to the field for baseball practice, and I, I was telling someone, man, I swear to God, if in the space of this 15-minute drive he gets signed, now we're here <laughs> exactly, two days man. later. Like, what? <laughs> what am I worried about? Yeah. yeah I, I, was, I was sitting there on, like, Monday, and I was like, okay, hopefully I'll get some news on my birthday, but I'm like, they're not going to drag out something all the way that long until Friday. But like I said, there I got go. a bad feeling about it, but I'm going to keep it real. If the deal doesn't get done today, it's not getting done. Like, there, there comes yeah. a point where it's just like you're taking too long to get something done. Oh, apparently, Victor yeah. Cruz tweeted at Kenny Galladay. Yeah, I did. See, I did see that. I'm I still waiting that. on Amar Bradshaw to respond to my tweet, man. I just want really? I really want to hope he responds. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. It ain't happening. Amon's out exactly, there. Exactly, because he's barely on Twitter. Life. He's barely on Twitter. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. I, He's I, out there with like, I feel like he'd respond, but it'd be like three months later. He'd be like, mm-hmm. oh, man. Oh, he... <laughs> like, um, you know, Ahmad's out there celebrating his birthday right now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's not worried about Kenny Galloway. <laughs> I mean, I'll be real. The fact that, that Victor Cruz just tweeted at him and said, is Kenny G a New York Giant yet? And he's not. Exactly. It's kind of sad. It's been an hour. The best receiver you've had in a long time is tweeting at you to get this goddamn deal done. Giants, exactly. you going to do something here? Juju is landing on thick, man. He says, I can't say it enough. I love Pittsburgh. But he's landing <laughs> on thick because I don't My think God. Pittsburgh loves him as that much anymore like they used to. I'm talking about they the don't. Giants. I mean, I, I'm going to be real. This feels like the meme right now of the guy poking the Giants logo with a stick. Come on, do something. Hey, do something. That's what <laughs> is. Like everybody's saying, uh, Adam Schefter, do do the Kenny Galladay to Giants, the Giants report. Make a goddamn tweet. Did y'all forget to do the report today? Or? <laughs> yeah, like what if they just like, oh, this news happened like yes, Kenny G signed oh, yeah. like two days ago. What's, what's yo, going yo, on? imagine, <laughs> imagine they signed the deal and they're just, you know, they're just talking with Kenny. They're getting the the first uniform stitching, you know, finished exactly. and all that. What and they're just want? like, yo, we're just gonna wait to announce it with all the merchandise ready and whatnot. Like, remember that whole Namdi oh, awesome one thing to the now. Eagles? Yeah. Remember, remember how he like it was like this huge thing and like and then all of a sudden he just walked out and gave a press conference right after he signed it. It was like, <laughs> like I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Like they yeah. get them in right on it on the right side and Joe Judge on the left side, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> I saw not like he's LeBron James, but <laughs> right. No, but so it'd be funny if somebody forgot to send it in. Yeah, I, why ain't we seen no reports about the signing yet? Exactly. Like <laughs> no, no, but it's like. It's it's oh. it's actually just the thing is guys it's all right the deal was already signed it's in Adam Schefter's tweet drafts it just exactly. hasn't been exactly. sent out surprised. yet he hit the wrong button we're fine it's okay he accidentally sent out the juju news <laughs> <laughs> wrong what if tweet, it, what if it's a, like a free agency conspiracy and like they already have everything figured out and they just have their, <laughs> their tweets like scheduled out yeah for like two is. weeks or something. I was literally about to say that. I'm like, I feel like sometimes they do actually, on a serious note, draft some of these tweets like they have it in the team. For tells legality them, reasons, yeah. Yeah, they're like, don't announce it until like 3 p.m. this day or something like that. Oh, it's definitely. all scheduled. It's all scripted. 
That's what it is. <laughs> oh, we're up to 190 yeah. likes. Let's get it up to Corvette, 200. Corvette. Hey, thank God Corvette Corvette ain't coming to us. <laughs> thank God is right. I saw those rumors and I was like, what a no. mess, man. What Ooh, a mess, Corvette, man. Corvette. I think <laughs> Juju. Oh, God. how do you not know who Corvette Corvette I think is? They- I think they released that uh, that ju- those juju rumors for for negotiation purposes. I don't. Think I think the whole went. Baltimore thing was a, was a conspiracy smoke screen. Bro. Yeah, yeah. The, the agent was probably lying. That <laughs> that report probably came out because that Baltimore was probably like we didn't make him an offer. What's, what are you talking about? Yo, and Joe Judge uh, is like, bro. About? I know y'all didn't. I know Baltimore didn't make you an hey, offer, bro. bro who the hell made Galladay offer? <laughs> <laughs> like, who did it? Fire! Like we rolling with Miles. Oh, we got yeah, Miles Boykin. Also, Why would we be? Not only yo, is Bradshaw's yo, birthday, one, one of the Julian best Viz birthday. alt accounts is in the chat. Thug PTA Sports is here. <laughs> there he is. Yo, one of the you're... best Viz alt accounts. <laughs> yeah, man. Hopefully, I, I'm hoping that Evan Ingram finally loses the 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 anxiety, and since he's not going to be the one or two <laughs> option, he just starts making these big plays for us. That would just uh-huh. be perfect. By the way, I didn't know. But I'm telling you, the Giants and Madden are about to be a serious issue, man. Yeah. Evan Ingram is already a glitch in Madden. DJ is a glitch he in is, Madden because he's fast. He's not very. Evan Ingram is oh, not he, a glitch. He is in for me. He is for no, me. No, 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 no. Evan Ingram on streaks, sure. But if it's any underneath route, oh, if yeah. It's any oh, he's drag, dropping it. He's dropping it. No, not just dropping it. He's running in the opposite direction <laughs> from the ball. <laughs> or, that's what his awareness drag, is. Something? He'll take it and run behind the line of scrimmage with Straight it. Straight up. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't be calling Evan Ingram any kind of threat in Madden. Evan I'm Ingram's telling you, Madden, ability. he's good for me. He's good. For, I always, but I only put him on. I only put him on streaks. So I guess. Uh, yo, yo, I, serious question, bro. Serious question, right? How long before the Steelers collapse this season with Big Ben still at the home? How many games? Week one. Week one. <laughs> Big Ben cannot play an entire game of the NFL. He can't do it. No, nah, like, it, it happened two years ago when he tried to throw the ball and tore his elbow up. I like say week four, I, I, I look week at four the of the preseason. Was week Big Ben that bad down the stretch? Yes, he was. He was horrible. I didn't like, really look at them down the stretch. Juju, Juju should have had a thousand yards. How, no matter how bad he played, I mean, you know, like how good we think he is, he should have had a thousand yards last year. But Big Ben was just missing him over and over again. It was horrible. Like I, that dude needs to retire. Yeah. Was was, he, Back and decided to throw the ball and tore his elbow up. He should have said, "That's it. I'm old. It's over." Like, hey, I didn't. I didn't know he was that bad down the stretch, man. He, he I was. I, bad. Paid for him. I remember. I remember was, streaming probably, the Washington game against the Steelers and watching Ben Roethlisberger. I saw that game. He was bad oh. in that game. That was yeah, like I said, his best game was probably Week One because he was fresh. After yeah. that, it was yeah. I was gonna say, did you guys talk about the Reggie Ragland signing it? Uh, yeah. We talked about it real quick. What, what, what are your thoughts on Reggie Ragland is a very good way, thing for us. Before y'all get into Reggie Ragland, I am going to have to hop off real quick. Thank you so much for having me on the channel, Diggy. I appreciate hey, it. Thanks for coming on, man. Always good to talk to you guys. I'll see y'all later. Well, By the way, I swear cool. to God, if, if Kenny Galladay gets signed right after I leave this, <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, all you got to do is not attend your class. It's, it's not going to happen. Man. Yeah, no, I was like, yeah, on on the Reggie Ragland thing. I, no, I was just like, it's a gr- it's a great, not even depth. I think he could come in and automatically be our number two linebacker yeah, next. I think to Reggie Blake Ragland is a starter. Yeah. Yeah, like I think, like I don't even think there necessarily has to be a quote unquote competition. I know some people have said he could even rotate with Crowder. I'm like, yo, don't let the contract fool you. This man could, like, we have our number two linebacker in my opinion, at least for this year. Would I have would I have preferred still drafting somebody? You know, like Surratt or or better in the draft, yeah. But like, I'm not complaining about this. What was this contract like? One year, it hasn't been released yet, but it's gonna be I'm something like, real okay, cheap. Nine hundred eighty-seven thousand. It's, it's nothing, man. It's it's nothing. exactly. So I'm like, yo, and I'm loving these contracts because we're taking so many low risk, high reward chances. But it's on players. That's like, I got confidence in that it's gonna be high reward, except for John Ross. Cause he's always he's always you know he could go either way but like if <laughs> and and uh reggie i'm like i i have a good feeling about them on the defensive hey, side there the lions proved true man they literally killed people's careers man his career almost died in detroit like here, here goes evan ingram being weird again man <laughs> it's just it's just it's just something weird about about that <laughs> <laughs> just something weird about that man <laughs> who is this guy <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't get to finish your thought there, pal. What were you saying? Oh, but um, Detroit kills careers, man. That dude, if you you get Reggie Ragland for less than a million dollars, and he he was a Super Bowl winning linebacker, a starter with the Chiefs, and he goes to the Lions and literally almost loses his whole career because they they never used him. They never used. If you look at his, if you look at the highlights when he actually played, he was pretty doggone good. And I think they're going to use him exactly like that in New York. Patrick Graham, this yeah. defense is going to be dynamite, man. Yeah, Reggie Ragland, man. He's going to be able to play. First off, he can play all the linebacker positions. He can play. Right. He can play. Because he, he, he can rush the passer a little. Because so. he, he was originally a 4-3 outside linebacker, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So, no, I mean, no. I think Bama runs a 3-4. No, I was talking about uh, his, you know, his first couple of years in the NFL, not in Buffalo? Alabama. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Buffalo was, yeah. He's I'm surprised he went for so low. Pat bring up a great point there. Like Detroit literally killed his career or almost killed his career, I guess. Yeah, yeah Detroit. Did, yeah. Like it's a video on YouTube from a, a Lions fan that says, like, in all caps, use Reggie Ragland. Right. <laughs> he said like EA Sports put Reggie Ragland in the game. How, how how good how good do you think he could be for us? I think this is a perfect com- comparison. Oh, yeah, I think they have the exact same skill set. Uh, he's just a little. So bit imagine if imagine if he play. just be imagine if he just becomes an average starter. We don't need anybody else at the linebacking court, and at least in the I middle. mean, all we need is just somebody that just isn't horrible in pass coverage. Mm-hmm. Like Devontae Dallas is horrible. Uh, that was supposed to be his specialty. <laughs> yeah, we kept him because he could cover. He, 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 that's because <laughs> he was covering every That's because like, he was covering every <laughs> <neighbor. laughs> And who else in practice? I don't know. <laughs> He must have been guarding Evan Ingram when he was dropping the ball. They was like, this guy's pretty good. He was making Evan Ingram drop the ball. It didn't find out. <laughs> this, is, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Shout That's out to Sticky Finger Tips for the 499. Breaking news. I just spoke with Kenny Galladay who said, and I quote, <laughs> what are you doing in my bathroom? I'm calling the police. <laughs> Yo, facts. I had a similar experience yesterday, bro. You know, I was I was gonna surprise I was gonna surprise this girl when she got home. You know what I'm saying? Been talking to her for a while. She blocked me on you a know? couple platforms, but that just means you know that I gotta try harder. Gotta try so when harder. I surprise when I surprise her with the flowers in her house, she's like, "Yo, what are you doing here? I thought I had a restraining order." I'm like, "Yo, they don't want romance anymore, bro. They don't want romance anymore." What is a restraining order? <laughs> oh, wait, I keep I keep letting this joint slide by. He has been posting this. 34 for 49, three touchdowns, and 341. What what game was that? Bro, Ben is washed. I'm sorry. Anybody who tries to tell me Ben isn't washed, go, just go watch my season. Game? The last hey, game. Ben, oh, ben, they they going to have to show me, too. I didn't I, I didn't know Big Ben was this washed, man. I didn't, they saying this dude is washed now. Pat, just watch his last season. Watch the 2020 season. If you watch it. They, they, they he was doing pretty doggone good in the beginning of the season. Yeah, and then his arm, his arm went, went away. Now I did see the Washington game. Now that was a pretty bad game by him. But as oh. I was gonna say, that Colts game, he went off. I remember seeing yeah, that week. week but, but listen, people tried to say that I didn't believe that Eli was physically washed, but people were saying that Eli was washed. But every once in a while, he throw four touchdowns. Every once in a that's while, a good he, that's a good comparison end point. You could have, even though I don't want to ever have to compare him to Big Ron. I don't want to. <laughs> to do that but ben roethlisberger therapist but with a with a space in between the two words therapist yeah i I, i'm gonna be honest with you i didn't think eli was washed when they were saying he was never washed man he never had an offensive line i saw somebody on twitter say eli hasn't had an arm since 2014 like if you look at eli throw the ball in 2011 and then you watch him throw the ball in 2017 i promise you there's not there's not it might be the same thing, exact same thing. The problem with Eli is that he was starting to get PTSD and he started flinching in the pocket <laughs> because he got off the line. Can you blame him? Can you blame him? <laughs> That's what I said. I wish I would have had my child up with Eli. I was, still, I was saying that dude out there is punch drunk. That he was getting hit like every freaking play. And then when there wasn't pressure, you would see Eli. He'd be like, okay, it's been two seconds. And then he would just start saying, <laughs> he would just throw it. Would be around him. He would just be. <laughs> like, all, I, I see authentic calling me out, even though I'm not the only one who says Ben is washed. But since he I did it, watch, he's I'm like, well, look at his stats. I'm like, I don't know how many times I got to say so many people put way too much stuff into stats, bro. Way too much weight. Go look at the games. 
Drew Brees couldn't throw the ball 25 yards. In now, 20- Drew Brees' arm was one. In 2019, Drew Brees couldn't throw that joint uh, 30 yards. And this man <laughs> was in, he was in candidacy for MVP because of his stats. Because he was completing like 70-something percent. But he couldn't even throw the ball down the field. Authentic say Big Ben had uh, eight games over 100 rating. I do remember that too, man. Big Ben was playing. I don't know what happened to him. I just stopped watching him because I knew them being 12 and 0 wasn't like real deal. And I'll yeah. also keep it real, I guess, to kind of end it off. I will admit I have a bias against uh, Big Ben because I never liked him. And like ever since like the mid 2000s as well, when you know the allegations and stuff came out, and it's like those yeah. were real allegations. It's not like the Sean Watson where it's like you're considering it. That's what I'm saying. But shout out to Entertainer. Oh, give me a sec. I got to call him. Okay. Uh, Kenny is keeping fans on the edge of their seats. Yeah. That's that's why I just titled this the, the Galladay Watch. Cause <laughs> Tell Carpy Slay stop the cap. You said tell who? Carpy Slays, whoever that is, breaking Kenny Galladay signs three-year, $48 million deal with the Giants. <laughs> I don't think that deal gets done today, folks. It better get done today. I, I just this can't keep going on. Like I like just you've got to move on at, at some point. If if you've looked at him and you're not sure that you want to offer him a contract, then you obviously don't want him. So for not some here. reason, um, I'm sorry. I was just gonna say for some reason I've seen this tweet a couple of times now about Tom Pelissero saying or mentioning the phrase "culture fit for the Giants" with Kenny Galladay. Like I said, I think it's just it's literally it's is judge. It's not even Gellman. It's not Kevin Abrams. I feel like what's going on right now is still between Judge and Galladay or the yeah, coaches I feel and Galladay. Like judge knows Matt Patricia very well, and Matt Patricia probably said some crazy stuff. Because but Matt Patricia, I, I think we could all agree, ain't the best. <laughs> He's right. the best coach. stuff he said to Darius Slay. That's what I'm saying, and that's Matt what, that's what mean. Not- so, but the thing is, you know, people can say stuff about about somebody that you know, but Joe Judge knows him personally, and he probably remembers him being a good coach. Well, we do, we do have Kyle O'Brien in um in the front office. Don't forget that. Exactly. Yeah. How would I feel if Baltimore gets him? I mean, they got him. <laughs> I don't. Who, I don't think Baltimore has. We talk about us with cap space. According to Engraven, he says Baltimore got even less than us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean. If if Baltimore gets them, man, we're we're going receiver first round. So I feel like our offense is going to be better either way. But I think it can really be good with an established guy, and then getting the guy in the second or third, yeah. or even the first to to supplement that. I think if we get Kenny Galladay, it just gives us so many avenues what we could do in the draft. That's yeah. mainly the reason why I want to get him. He's a proven guy, and he gives us so many avenues we can go with our draft now. Bro, if we get Galladay, I really want to go Sertain first round. Me too. Sertain um, or, or, or Parsons or Slater if he's there. I, I feel like Sertain would literally put us into an elite level defense because we were already really, top 10. Really elite. But the thing is, I think if we don't get Galladay, I think the first place we're looking at is corner, a second corner. Mm-hmm. Because I wanted Reddick if we didn't get Galladay. I wanted Reddick in general, and I feel like we could have afforded him, but we didn't get him. But I don't think they go after a pass rusher at this point because there's nothing there. But there's still some corner talent there. So if we don't get them, that's probably the first place we're looking is, is corner. Also, so we um, do get them now. Yeah, we is, probably is, is what's his name still available? Uh, Jackson? Yeah. JC Jackson? No, um, no Dory. Dory Jackson. Dory Jackson, yeah. He hey, if we don't get Kenny Galloway, get that money to Dory Jackson. Yo, hold up. Guys, time. guys. We just realized, I just realized something. What have you been doing, Diggy? You said you were going to be recruiting for us. Ain't nobody come here yet. <laughs> I don't Ain't know, nobody man. come here yet. I don't know what's been going on with my alter ego talking about recruiting. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that was Yo, true. No, but, but on a serious note, I ain't seen one person come He's here yet. He's the worst recruiter i ever seen in my life. Because <laughs> you know what's funny? He said it since he re-signed. That was on Christmas Day when he said that. It's been months. Ain't nobody. What you mean? Ain't nobody came. We got Rudolph. We got Raglan. Oh, you think he recruited them? (laughs) No. He was talking about Titans players. Patriots players. Or, you know, Titan. like, for example, Jackson, Dory Jackson, they played at the same time on the Titans. Like, I would, like, that could be something he could try and get. I don't know. 
Yeah. But the Giants got to be willing to sign him, too. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course, of course. Listen, listen bringing in A.J. Green. And... <sighs> A.J., listen, man. <laughs> the, 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 the team that I probably like watching more, not more, but second place after the Giants is the Bengals because they have Joe Burrow. I watched most of A.J. Green's season. This dude, first off, is out here dropping passes. <laughs> He's always injured. He's slow. He's not the same player. He's A.J. Green, which means he's going to have an ego. No matter how quiet and, you know, in public he is, he's going to have an ego. You really think you're bringing in A.J. Green and he's just going to sit and be our fourth or fifth receiver? John Ross, we paid him $1 million. Right. Why are people mad about us bringing in a 4-2 receiver for $1 million? A.J. Green, what, $8 million? A.J. Green is pushing 50. <laughs> why? why? What's, the, what's the comparison, man? You see the routes he was running by yeah, like, <laughs> like AJ Green took about four touchdowns away from Joe Burrow. This new ACL is still tore. So, <laughs> I'd be surprised if it came out that he was running on the tour and yeah, he was out there running like Kyle Rudolph. Man, I said, man, this dude running so slow now. I said, man, what's going on? By the way, I do want to say I got like two tweets still drafted since two days ago for if Galladay signs, bro. They haven't been used yet. <laughs> I got my thumbnail already, already ready. Yeah, I yo, my... Tuesday night because because I, I go to work, you know, on Tuesday nights. I was like, if he gets signed, let me make this thumbnail just in case hasn't been used yet. Yeah. And then the thing about Adoree Jackson is I don't even know about some of these players that got cut. Is like you don't know if they've been officially cut or not because I wanted us to look at Rodney Hudson for the right price, of course, but he got traded. And it yeah, was, I thought, it was, yeah, I thought he was cut. cut. Yeah, so a lot of these reports are saying that people got cut. Like Gabe Jackson supposedly got cut weeks ago, but he was traded. So Adoree Jackson might technically still be on their team, and they might be working out a trade or something. So if you're thinking about why aren't the Giants targeting this player that got cut, it might be because they're technically still on the roster. I know that DB gets cut from uh, Pittsburgh. That would be good. Yeah. Shout out to Max, bro. Spend time with your yeah. daughter, bro. Don't apologize for it. I'm wrong with that, man, at all. It's a nice day out here. At least where I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty brick outside for me. Yeah, it's getting ready to start raining out here. Indiana. Yeah, they do need to hurry it up. <laughs> man, I'm telling y'all, man. Don't be surprised if it don't get done. Oh, interesting question by Patrick there. Better not sign no Geno Atkins, man. Nah, we're, our defensive line is stacked. <laughs> no, nah, man. You said Patrick? Yeah. Is Washington, the reason he's asking this is because now there's a lot of, you know, you know, NFL insiders, reporters, whatever you want to call them, that are really, really high on Washington, call them one of the best rosters in the NFL. And I agree to some, to some point, I agree. I don't no. know if I'd necessarily call them overrated because it's not like everybody's been saying, oh, my God, Washington is like the Browns now or something. But they do have a really, really good roster. Yeah, but uh, before I before I, I clicked on the wrong thing, before I talk about that, Copeland went to the Falcons. Mm -hmm. At least by this person's uh, report. Yeah, no, but, the Falcons um, even tweeted out a couple of months ago. Okay, so, yeah, so that means that's wrapped up. But uh, Washington, Washington doesn't really – they need to improve their offensive line, and they need a second receiver, and they need a linebacker. Man, so, Washington needs to prove Washington. They need better run stuffers, as crazy as that sounds, because they still can't stop. I don't think they can't stop think, Saquon, bro. I don't think their run defense was mess was necessarily because of the line. I think it was because they don't have a linebacker. They they don't have any good linebackers. So the same thing about the Giants. When people ran the ball on us, it wasn't because up front we were getting bullied. It was because our linebackers weren't doing their jobs on the edges. Mm. So I I think. Washington is pretty they need, close. They need a linebacker. They need to improve their line, and they need a name. They just need a quarterback, man. That's all they really need. If they had a quarterback, they're a real serious team. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I know they got Sammy. I was just saying their needs going into this offseason. But uh, shout out to Kareem Hauser for the four ninety nine. Barkley stats going to be crazy with Galladay and Ross taking the safeties out the way, and that's why you go sign Sacks. John Ross. Because when you put John Ross on the field, they cannot play cover zero. I don't care how bad you think he, he is. If you leave him one-on-one -on -one coverage and he's burning down the middle of your field, it's a wrap. Exactly. 
Like DJ and has to take a chance good. if he's open down the field. If you had think about it, if you have John Ross on one side, Slayton on the other side, Ingram in one slot, Shepard on one slot. Slayton and and uh and Ross are a threat to beat you down the field, so you cannot play cover zero. You Last didn't even they, mention Galladay, by the way. And that's what and that's what <laughs> even you didn't even mention field. him. Exactly. Or so or or a potential draft wide receiver. <laughs> exactly. So I mean my my thing is we just needed some receivers because after that Ravens game, I was heated because I saw them play cover zero pretty much the whole game. Oh, and just press them at the line. And then they talking about Daniel Jones isn't doing it. Daniel Jones has nine people blitzing. <laughs> CFF ranked our offensive line bad for pass protection in games where they were sending eight, nine people every day. Every He's play. In a cover zero blitz and the <laughs> nah, No, for real. Bro, the past year, if you want to beat the Giants, just send everybody at the line. That was right. really the game plan. Right. Especially when Eli was there, you wasn't doing nothing. So when once DJ got hurt and he couldn't move, they said, Oh, <laughs> blitzing everybody. Everybody's everybody. like. That, and that's another reason I like the Rudolph signing, bro. I was saying, I don't think the Giants are going to have a chance to, to take picks. I think he'll be gone. With how people are hyping him up, I think he'll be gone. Imagine if he really goes to the Cowboys. That would be funny to me. I think he will go to the Cowboys if he's there at 10. That would be just because they just like the glitz and the I, I got to bet. Me, he, me and Fist put money on it. We got a bet going. <laughs> About that, I, if I he's think, gonna go to the Cowboys I think or not. Kyle Pitts will go to the, if he goes to the Cowboys, I think they'll trade Michael Gallup that same Ooh. day because they're not to gonna who? pay him. I don't know who they'll trade him to, but I know maybe right, maybe the Ravens. I think they keep him and try to for a Super Bowl run. Take that point because you got that <laughs> man said a Super Bowl run, bro. Come on, now. It, I really think it's gonna be hard for the Cowboys to compete in a division, and I mean, with with beyond Dak being who he is. But I just don't think that they're going to be able to go all out for a Super Bowl. I just don't see that for them. Spe- speaking of the division, did you did you guys see that Vegas has the Eagles ahead of us in terms of likeliness to win the division? Vegas like, always what? Vegas loves the Eagles though. They always have the Eagles favorite. And like two years ago, remember the Cowboys defense was like arguably top five, mm-hmm. and, and they was like dominant. And then they got all them receivers. Like so, once they did that, they had the Eagles favorite over the Cowboys with all of that. Talent, man. Like, oh man, shout out to Lucas Aiken for the 50, man. Australia. Lucas, he's a great supporter. Man, Man, Lucas is is a real great supporter, man. He he really is, man. And I appreciate that so much. Love you, Lucas, man. You the man. (laughs) Wow. But uh what were you saying? I was gonna say what I don't understand is who did the six dislikes. What is wrong with y'all? There's six? Like I said, they're Washington fans. I'm I'm okay with six dislikes. We had almost 400 people in there. That's bound to happen, man. <laughs> I probably got a dislike because I went on the AJ Green rant. Probably got another dislike because you know. I mean, I, I still I still <laughs> see people saying, appreciate it, authentic. I still see people in the chat arguing John Ross. <laughs> yeah. He said, so y'all talk about John Ross like he <laughs> this nigga been in like six <laughs> like games. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> is, is John's 34? <laughs> now listen, that's very possible that he that he's injured. It's very possible, but I'm just saying that's why you take the chance. And if he is injured, you cut him and you lose a million dollars, which right. is nothing. <laughs> like he now, did. if we went out and we paid like six million for John Ross, I'd be like, okay, y'all got an argument. But we got a million. Ross, like <laughs> He pays his not- league minimum. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was literally no, no, no. the Giants want to pay this. They actually want to pay this, this man like like two hundred fifty thousand grand. But the league was like, nah, you got to pay him at least a mil. This man can literally like cut the oh, man. That's what I'm saying. And we won't even have you to know. You know what's it. funny, by the way, Pat and Diggy. If he does, if he like is terrible in training camp and we cut him, which will be the right decision, fans are going to complain gonna about that like, too. Right. <laughs> They're like, we wasted a million dollars. Exactly. Like, yeah, what? He runs a 4 2 2. How can you cut him? <laughs> and then there's going to be reports. Be like, yo, 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 Corey Coleman all over again. Right. Yeah. There's going to be reports. The exact that same thing. Accounts. The reports are going to be sitting there saying, oh, the Giants were close on, on closing, all, closing out on uh, a Dory Jackson, but they were a million dollars apart. <laughs> Damn you, John Rose. <laughs> Yo, I'll say this right now. I'll say this. Um, Diggy, by the way, it shares a birthday with not only Ahmad Brasher, but Julian Love. Julian as well. Love. Yeah, I just look, look at that. I said, man, all the Giants' birthday is today. 
found that out today, Julian Love. He, <laughs> he said, somebody said, what the hell are the Giants doing is, uh, interrogating? <laughs> oh, it's James Bradbury saying that. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, it's in the chat. I thought you were saying a real James Bradbury was saying that. Like, no. <laughs> the said, real James Bradbury don't be saying anything. Right. I like well, it. I'm just saying what kept John Ross off the field. He was injured for part of it. And then at, at, at some point, he just didn't want to play for the Bengals anymore because they weren't using him. So at that point, he was just a healthy scratch. And he just didn't play. <laughs> right. He was so, a healthy scratch. But now I feel like they shouldn't use him because they was rolling out AJ Green like this was 2000. David Money. David Money. If if Kenny wants 15 mil, I don't know why we haven't signed him yet. If he wants 15 mil a season, I'm signing that man immediately, bro. I think he wants the 18.5. We're going to end up paying him 15 or 16. I think Kenny overslept in the hotel this morning. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you know why he overslept, bro? Because he was up all night getting the LT treatment, man. Right. I yeah, I told you he had too much fun last night. He had too much shout, fun. Shout out to Jimmy3457. Thank you for having order numbers that aren't in order. Because people always try to question my numbers not in order, but thank you for it. I mean, that is an shout order, bro. You. That's an increasing order. Three, four, five. <laughs> That's an increasing order. Man, he skipped the number. <laughs> well, let's try here. Oh, four two five fast as heck. I don't know how legit that that forty is, but right. yeah, I think uh, these forty and, times. And and also, b- before the forty times, Stokes was like a second, maybe third round guy. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, he was probably yeah. running a four three. Yeah, Justin Fields running a four four one. Yeah, I see no four four. Oh yeah. Wait. Wait. What was I saw? Oh, I saw no, you no, tweeting no, about no, that, no. Diggy. J- Justin Fields running a four four one. But first off, that was hand timed. I could run a four four hand time. Everybody says that. <laughs> and then he was saying, "I'll be running a four three by my pro day." No, you won't. If he runs a four four day and that's, and that's laser time, all of this, all of this is is null and void. <laughs> if he runs a four three at his pro day, bro, he's worrying about the wrong position. Put him. He is not running a four three on the. He's not running a four three on tape at all. Justin Fields tears ACL, MCL, PCL, <laughs> ACL, MCL, meniscus, bro, everything. That's what I was on Ross, though. With John Ross, it seems like every time he opens up and runs full speed, he get, he gets injured. Because he's D-Rose, bro. <laughs> Remember, he ran his 40 and he got injured. He pulled his hamstring right D Rose. He's literally D-Rose of the NFL, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he's like Midoriya off of My Hero Academy. <laughs> Facts, yo. <laughs> yo, he's like, I got to go 100%. <laughs> That's his entire leg, bro. Oh, man. Bob oh. one million dollars. Shout out to Jimmy three four five seven for the five dollar uh, super chat. Three three babe four Garrick five Dimaggio seven Mantle. Oh, he, got, go. he, got he it. actually has significance he behind it. I don't have any significance. I just like the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to Kevin Witter for the four ninety nine. Happy birthday, Diggy minus tomorrow New York Pisces game. Man, thank you, man. Thank you for the five and happy birthday. Oh, DJ's 40 time was like a four seven. It was, it's, it, that was inaccurate. That's not how he plays, but uh he ran like a four six or a four seven, which is, is oh shout out to Kenny level. Galladay in the chat, bro. Hey, we got Kenny. Hey, listen, what's going on in the meeting right now? They rubbing your feet right now. You <laughs> <going on? laughs> <Like a judge>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, yo, I, I I I was serious when I said I really think the person that's holding up this negotiation is Judge, bro. <laughs> There's no hey, like listen, Gettleman won't listen, be holding bro. this up. Kenny won't be holding this up. It's Judge that's holding this up right now. Hey, I'll tell y'all, y'all. Y'all see the little the tweet that said that, that Joe Judge was having a staring contest from Wesley. <laughs> <laughs> they said he was having a staring contest with him. Yeah, I don't <laughs> pull know. it up. Cause that picture with Joe Judge, that just looks menacing, man. Like imagine this dude being angry with you. Imagine him looking at it. <laughs> Imagine Joe just looking at his kids like that. <laughs> Every time he goes to sign a contract, his eyes get a little wide. <laughs> Can I sign it? Yo, I just made a tweet because of the staring joke y'all just made, bro. It's a gift that hasn't been used in a while. That's what I think. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the, it's the dude that, that has the Odell haircut. Yeah, and <laughs> from that competition, I forgot what it was. I think this was uh what was the name of this damn competition? Um 
some talent. Hey, some talent show. Surprised, man. I would not be surprised if they're testing his stool. <laughs> 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 what kind of test is this? That they said they testing his, they're getting a stool sample to determine if he's a culture fit. I mean, <laughs> yeah, listen. Did everybody have to do this when they sign? <laughs> oh, bro, they're trying to make sure he's the healthiest of healthiest, bro. They're, they're testing his bone marrow yeah, sample. Right. They took the blood, like everything, bro. They opened up his mouth. They're like, let me see those teeth, bro. You taking good care of them? Like, come on. Exactly. When's the last time you've been to the dentist? Exactly. Yo, when's the last time you got your physical done, bro? <laughs> you got all your shots? I bet I bet you, man. I bet you he is doing laps. <laughs> they're like, oh yo, yo. They're like, oh, so you want 18 and a half mil, bro? Give me 1800 laps. Listen, either right now, either right now, all of these other reports coming out are, are him trying to drive the price up on us. Or Kenny Galladay right now is just meeting with the Giants because he wants to go to some other team. And he's like, see, I'm real close to signing with the Giants. And the other team is like, oh, go sign with him now. And he's like, see, I'm still, I'm here. I'm, I'm still, they're like, well, just do the deal then. We're not going to pay you. But <laughs> it, it, somebody's man uses leverage right now. 18.5 million. Bengals, 12 million. <laughs> like, I really feel we're the only team that's actually offering him a good amount of money. And on the actual year. Because most teams aren't going to have a, a big number, especially for a one-year deal. So, shout to Joseph. I'm guessing he's talking March Madness because that's going on right now. Santiago in the chat. Oh, oh yeah. man, I'll be yeah. thinking about college basketball now. It ain't what it used to be, man. Yeah, it's mostly because of the fact that like COVID, like, <laughs> like for me, is the audience makes it so much better. Right. Oh yeah, I saw. I saw somebody in the chat was talking about it. Who won? I haven't seen any. Yeah, who won though? Because they said it was at the buzzer. Hopefully, Florida did. You know for sure they're checking for unpaid parking pick tickets. Oh, you know, they M six two six. They tied it. They going in overtime. M two six six M yeah. thinks he's joking, but he's he's actually speaking facts, bro. They're looking at all this man's court history, even if it's a parking ticket, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, you paid the parking ticket, but you didn't show up to the hearing. You sent, like, somebody else to show up to the hearing. You know? Yeah, they say it's tired going in overtime, so that thought. Uh, it might be uh, Joe Judge trying to get in contact with Matt Patricia, like you said, seeing exactly what went down with Kitty Galladay. Did he quit on the team? Because that's not what Joe Judge wants on the, on the team, period. He doesn't want to quit on the team. But in this case, you might have to – Go off that rule a little bit because it is Detroit. <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. yeah, man said, listen, bro, it is it is the team that killed both Calvin Johnson. Everybody, and everybody quits on them, man. But but Matthew Stafford, yeah. for some reason, he doesn't. Our, no, he did because because he wanted to be out there by the end. You see, I mean, he, he didn't Stafford quit on them on the like, field, but you see, Matthew Stafford did his thank you video and he thanked all his coaches except Matt Patricia. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now that's petty, man. That's, <laughs> You think every single because Detroit goes through coaches like like toilet paper. So Kenny <laughs> Gallon, they say I did quit his cat. <laughs> yeah, man. Show me the proof, Kenny. <laughs> yeah, they saying he's still in New York. Yeah, bro. Max, there was a report that said he's literally still in the Giants building as we speak, bro. Now listen, Gettleman is a funny dude, right? So Gettleman might have gotten this deal done. They might have all got the deal done. They might just say, let it marinate because they've been waiting. So let's just let's just keep it going. Let's have lunch. Then we're exactly. going to go. They might have gonna... got the deal done and they might just be going out to lunch to celebrate. Bro, I'm telling you, Diggy, they, they're on the wave that I was on last night. They got lunch. Then they went to see the, the Zack Snyder cut, which is a four hour movie. You know what I'm saying? They taking their time. I could see Dave Gettleman getting the deal signed, taking them out to lunch. And they asked Dave, did you send the deal in? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Give me my computer. Nah, Judge would be right there oh, with them, bro. Oh, he's mon he's gonna monitor everything Kenny eats to make sure he doesn't injure his teeth. <laughs> hey, okay, I give him. Bad, though, this man. dude only has like two injuries his whole career, but they just been major ones. This is not the time to be cheap, man. I'll pay him sixteen million. Yeah, yeah. bro. Anything Six below eighteen, it's a done deal for me. Like, negotiations for me start if they're, they're at 18. If this man walked in and said, I want 16 a year, I'm like, done. Hey, you, know you, what? you know what? You know what? 
they might have to re, they might be restructuring some deals and stuff too to stay. They're gonna have to. Yeah. So they now might. Unless be they get uh, But the thing is, though, we got we got seven point five mil in cap space right now. So yeah, we're yeah. gonna have to restructure Bradbury and Martinez. We're probably yeah. gonna extend them. Have the money to sign our draft picks too. Yeah, so we got to probably extend Martinez. Diggy, and it's like you said, bro. It's exactly like you said several times. The cap space doesn't exist if you want a player. Exactly. You can always restructure. They're signing people. <laughs> they have like $100 million over the cap. <laughs> Here, bro, this man, what is, what is new? This is my friend in real life. What is news from, from 30 minutes ago? This man always be coming through. This man hit me up uh, two days ago and said, I just heard y'all just y'all just re-signed uh Leonard Williams. I didn't even know. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, we, we was talking about that a couple minutes ago, but he's not going back to Chicago, man. Nah. I don't think he signs in Chicago, I think. Unless we just totally say no to him, I don't think he signs anywhere else. Oh man. Yeah, that, that is a fake deal. Yeah, that's a fake contract. <laughs> that's a fake, that's a fake deal. Corvette is trending, man. That's hilarious. Yeah, it takes a hill for to be cut next year. Avoidable. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jim Oliver. I, I don't know if you meant to type something, but uh, <laughs> yo, uh, the donation is a super sticker, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I appreciate it, but I don't know if you want to you want to type something, go ahead and type it in. Oh, Will Will I Am says, "Who is the biggest overpaid player?" This oh, we got Will I Am in the chat. <laughs> okay, he looks a little. Different. <laughs> but yeah, who is the biggest good. overpaid player in general? Player. Yeah, he does look a little different. Yo, you but still singing, bro? Celebrities, celebrities, uh, they get all types of plastic surgery. Corey Davis. The I'd biggest say Nelson overpaid. Aguilar. I don't know. I would, I would say, yeah, I would say Nelson Aguilar and Corey Davis got paid way too much. If Kenny Galladay only gets like fifteen, Nelson Aguilar get? I forgot. Nelson got, got more than Corey, I think. No, Nelson got thirteen or twelve or something. Nelson got thirteen and a half, and I think Corey yeah. got twelve and a half. Yeah, Nelson got, got thirteen and a half from the Patriots. Yeah, yeah, with their imaginary money. Dang. I bet you those checks gonna bounce, man. <laughs> the checks are gonna bounce. My, my answer, Aguilar got thirteen million. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm telling you, them checks are gonna start to bounce in a couple weeks. <laughs> that signing bonus is not going to clear. Oh, somebody says Janu and JJ. Probably oh yeah, JJ got a lot. Of sixteen million, didn't he? Sixteen point five, actually. And that's what I was saying, man. That's what I was saying. <laughs> he said Andy Dalton got me. <laughs> Andy Dalton, man. First off, Andy Dalton is part of the reason why John Ross isn't on the Bengals anymore. Because Andy Dalton overthrew. How you overthrow John Ross? Hey, I'll say this. I feel bad for Andy Dalton because all the memes about the Bears and, and whatnot. But it's like, yo, low key, bro. The, the memes are true, but I feel bad for him. I feel bad for the Bears. They had a Super Bowl winning defense the past five years. And yeah. haven't Nothing with it. And their defense was so good that, like, they just gave up because they knew the offense wasn't going to do anything. And everybody's like, oh, yeah, they're not trying. The oh, year they drafted Mr. Trubisky is when they messed up their whole organization. If oh, Carlos, were- I ain't stoned. I just came from a long event. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and you guys are talking with Mitch. That's a good thing to bring up because another question in the chat was, what hurts more, a free agent bus or a draft bus? Well, uh, there's examples man. for both. It depends where you draft them. First round draft bus. If it's in the twenties or something, that's not as bad. But if it's top five, you know, it depend- and it also depends on the position. A number two, yeah. It also depends on the position. So, <laughs> his squad said he ain't stone, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> Roll up, cuz. <'cause. laughs> Brown signed signed Anthony Walker. Who did he just sign him right now? <laughs> I think so. But yeah, they need to go ahead and, and report this. I was expecting. I was like, if I go two hours, it, it'll come up. But <laughs> I'm telling you, man, something ain't right, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no way that you could be sitting here talking for this long. It's got to be some serious like negotiating. No they used to do this back in like when Darrell Reeves and then were free exactly. agents. But they don't do this no more. I don't know what this is about. What way? What don't they do? Uh, uh, these long negotiations. They come to the building, they stay two to three days, and then they sign. Yeah, that's what happened with Revis and uh, yeah. not, 
Yeah, Revis and Nobby, yeah. And DRC when they was putting together that that dream team. Yeah, that 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 usually oh yeah, yeah, bringing in this free agent this day and this free agent that day, they're in the same building at the same time. Well, this this people just fine now. What's going on? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, I am. <laughs> Kenny must have a big ass mouth. <laughs> hey, look, man. I think that I think is either that agent is is trying to play the game so well to try to get more money, trying to get every last cent. Yeah, you know Todd France is doing that. Joe Judge and Dave Gettleman are having it out, and Joe Judge don't want them, and Gettleman does. So they try to like Todd out. France just got finished with a two year negotiation, and he won. So you could tell no, you can't tell him nothing right now. Right. Reports are Kenny wants the Giants bad enough to stay for 18. I mean, you know what? When you think about it, he is willingly staying there for that long. That's what I'm saying. Like, I would leave. So maybe he's either the nicest person in the league. Or he's just super interested. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's see. Carlos Sanchez says uh, the hub and Diggy. So I asked the hub this a couple of days ago after all these signings. Now, what holes do we need to fill? Do you see us taking pits or a wide receiver now? I'll take it first, and then we go big pat in the hub. Um, I think the holes right now, if we sign Galladay, uh, is cornerback two. Linebacker two is less of a need because of Raglan. I feel comfortable with Raglan if Raglan is next to him. And I think after that linebacker two, I mean, after that cornerback two, it's probably offensive line. And after that, I mean, we're pretty, we're pretty good at every other position. Yeah, <laughs> same here. If uh, definitely if we get Galladay, uh, we're not taking a receiver or pits. I don't believe if we get Galladay with the first pick. Me personally, I would want Patrick Sertain or Caleb Fairley first, and then someone like a Slater or Micah Parsons second. Um, and then that second round, don't be surprised if we go off this alignment uh, with uh, the boy from Ohio State if he makes it there, Wyatt Davis. I see them taking Wyatt him. Davis. Most most definitely, and I, then I see us taking another weapon at the third pick, either get, trying to get an edge or trying to get another receiver with the third pick. And yeah. then picks after that, they just do whatever they want. They just find death pieces or people they feel will fit the system, like special teamers and things like that. So getting Ken Galloway opens, opens up a lot of avenues for us. But if we don't, we're going to receive a first pick. I know we are. Yeah, for oh, – um. For that, I've been saying it basically since Tuesday night, which is when, like, I had to reel back in the excitement and try and get some fans back on, like, I, if we don't get the Kenny train. But, but like, since Tuesday, and I even tweeted out, I'm like, my dream draft, if we get Kenny, is Sertain at one, Davis at two, and Tamori and Terry at three. I feel like that would be just knocking it out of the park. Oh, yeah. That, that'd be a dream scenario. But I'll get to the super chat. Shout out to Sticky Fingertips. For the 499, even if the deal was done at noon, they can't announce it until another restructure isn't. That is a really good point. Mm -hmm. Yo, we so we've been joking about, about it, but what if? Listen, they cannot they cannot announce that that deal is done until they restructure. So what could be happening is they're sitting down at the table and they're saying like, "Hey, listen, this is Kenny Galladay on Facetime right here, James Bradbury. Do you want to work out a restructure so you can have this dude to make you better in practice?" It could be that what's taking so long is that they're trying to restructure some of these people's deals, and that's what's taking said, so long. I just said that earlier. Yeah, I will say this as well. That's though. a good why, point. Why haven't we cut dudes that should be cut like Pulley and whatnot yet? Yeah, why is Pulley still here? So I saw something on Twitter that was saying that Spencer Pulley, it was like some type of a void or option in his contract, and technically he's not counted against the – he's not a part of the team. Okay, so I don't know a guy like the same deal. Is. That's something different. They probably want to see what they have. I've been saying, why haven't we traded Evan Ingram? That's what I've been saying. But, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he brought Evan Ingram gone so bad. <laughs> I know Evan Ingram was about to be in the chat again. But, listen, I've been saying in my videos the past month that the way that this cap is – hey, the way that this cap is set up, like Kevin Hart said, the way that my cap situation is set up, I don't understand how we're going to make all of these moves and then be able to keep Evan Ingram at this cap number. So either you're going to extend 
Evan Ingram or Jabril Peppers. I don't know what's you got to restructure a lot of stuff to to get this this contract under the books. I think <laughs> this, this reaction is always funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> like he be hurt, man. Like what's going on? You trying to throw me under the bus, man? What's going on? I think they either got to trade with Evan Ingram in the works or Bradbury and. Uh, Evan, Martinez, Evan have, look at it this way, bro. You're a valuable asset, bro, because you're a Pro Bowl, which means exactly. are interested People in want you. you. Man, everybody know that Pro Bowl was fake. Man, you a damn about that damn Pro Bowl. <laughs> How you made the Pro Bowl? You got more drops than touchdowns. Hey, breaking news. <laughs> I just realized he does. Breaking news, they say <laughs> somebody's trolling on Twitter saying that we signed Golden Tate for a three-year $50 million deal. <laughs> <laughs> what if that's what's taking so long? Isn't that legit his old contract with us? <laughs> it's three no, years. It's, it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Man, that shoot that whole franchise up. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, man. Hey, this is a top tier show, man. I've been telling the hub to check this out. This is a top Oh, yeah. Tier. No, I, Chris um, and Diggy, I've been saying once I finish Hunter and I'm literally like, 10 oh, you ain't you on Hunter Hunter right now? Yeah, this this Kenny Galladay contract is like the camera camera and art. Facts, bro. How does one arc of a show take up half of the show, bro? 70 yeah, whole episodes to one arc. I ain't never seen anything like that before. Crazy, but uh, Narjan 13 says, uh, Cushion Diggy, biggest remaining free agent wide receiver domino is Kenny Galladay, whose visit with the Giants is on gone. He's reposting another one of these tweets. Yeah, if. He has been in the Giants facility for 19 plus hours. Yeah, they got to be in the middle of a deal, man. They have to be. There's no like if if there was no interest, it'd be done. If they were still trying to figure him out, he would have walked away by now. His agent would have told him, "You're wasting your time. It, it's over." Right. So I, I want to respond to Nick real quick. Nick, the difference is, uh, Hunter is a 100 and like 40 episode show. Naruto is like a total what. Yeah, Naruto in total is like what, bro? Like 600 episodes in total or something like that? So it yeah, makes sense crazy. there that some arcs would be like hundreds of and episodes. And most of Naruto long. is filler. Most of Naruto isn't yeah. even real. But no, I'll tell you this. This is completely off topic. Um, And big, we got to get back to the idea we were talking about at one point. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like Hunter was supposed to be a Naruto-esque show in the show in the sense that like it was supposed to be 500 episodes because there's like storyline was inspired. set up for it. Naruto was inspired by Hunter Hunter. Lombardo. Yeah. We had some nine and, uh, news in the afternoon. You said what? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I saw that too. And and Lombardo was a Giants reporter, so it has something to do with the Giants. So if we sign somebody else, apparently the cap really isn't real. Like the cap really isn't real. If we sign, like watch watch it be like a Dory Jackson for seven million. Or yeah, like we signed Kenny Galladay, and then the Giants signed a Dory Jackson. At that point, yeah, I don't the cap. I don't believe like I in said, it for the rest of my checks, life. These checks are bouncing, man. There's no way. <laughs> now these aren't no checks, way. bro. These are direct deposits. Unless they say that you can. Use the cap, <laughs> these bro. are wired with direct deposits. <laughs> these bro. transfers aren't clearing. Basically. <laughs> hey, uh, Belichick. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe it's a trade. Maybe it is a trade. Yo, it better be Evan Ingram, bro. Like, no cap. It really better to come be back Evan Ingram. Ingram. What's going on? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Evan, bro, I love you, man. You know what I'm saying? You're a great dude, but you need to get up on out of here, bro. <laughs> What's going on? Who? who where? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Evan, it's fine, bro. Listen, listen. I got you. I got a deal for you, bro. I'm going to send you to Carolina. They ain't got a tight end that I know of, bro. You're going to play with Teddy or whoever they get in the draft, bro. You'll be fine. I don't like Billy Belafat. Who is that? Oh, man. Oh, it's either a trade with Evan Ingram to save that $6 million. Or, or it's an extension over the bro That's Pepper. That's what I, that was, yeah. Yo, Carlos Sanchez got a heavy question I think Diggy should answer. Can one of y'all tell me who with Michael Parsons? What did Michael <laughs> Parsons not do? That's the better. Thing. Yeah. I'll tell you. Oh, this is all I say, bro. True for facts. This is all I but, say uh, about it. Um, it, it's not it's allegations as of right now, but based exactly. off the allegations, Michael Parsons' new um nickname is the booty thief. Okay. <laughs> all I say is don't drop the soap. <laughs> don't drop the soap around them. Exactly. <laughs> no, listen, and this is not even funny at this point. If he was really saying this. 
<laughs> you were, he was walking around the locker room calling himself. He was telling people to call him Jerry Sandusky. <laughs> so if that's if that's true, for me, that's not even the craziest serious. thing, bro. The craziest Spoken thing is the, the knife. Thing. It's not the craziest thing. It's not. <laughs> He's so there pretending clapping cheeks and. <laughs> You know, he said, I might have to leave if Parsons come here. Yeah, he's like, yo, if we draft Parsons, <laughs> it might be a good thing. Yo, yo, he said, I can't get caught lacking, bro. <laughs> Parsons, bro, you don't have to be ca- get caught lacking. He'll pull up on you with the knife, bro. You know how fast Parsons is? <laughs> yo, you, you can't escape him, Evan. You can't escape him. That man's in there, bro. That man, the man's the booty consumer, bro. <laughs> booty consumer. Yo, Joe. <laughs> My goodness, bro! If you were in the locker room by yourself, you know, upset after a long day of practice, you sore all over the place, bro. Do not sore inside yet, bro. Why is my gonna say ice bath for me? Oh, yo, Evan goes over to his locker room. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, he's like, hey, come over here real quick. Come, come <laughs> yo, yo, Evan about to walk over to his locker room, bro. You know, he's he, he just had a good game. You know what I'm saying? He had a nice chat with Joe Judge. He's walking over. You know what I'm saying? Open the locker. Just got out of the showers. All of a sudden, the lights go off, bro. Yo, just run. <laughs> just run. You know, ain't the Undertaker. Please. I didn't fumble this week. <laughs> Just for that one play. Yo. You going one-on-one with Michael Parsons. Two things that's, two, two things that's hilarious to me right now. A Zoldic, first of all, Zoldic, that's gotta be a Hunter reference. Second of all, he this oh, man yeah, said he's yeah. confused. He doesn't know uh, other stuff about the, the knife things. But bro, infer from what we're saying, bro. Yeah, once you put everything together, a knife, booty. One on one matchup in the locker room. <laughs> so <laughs> just put all that together and tell me what you get, man. Question if we oh. land Galladay, what's y'all's thoughts on him and Ross being guys with Andrew? And that's what I've been trying to tell people authentic. We can sign Kenny Galladay. We can have John Ross there. We can have Sterling Shepard there. All three of them are injury prone. And if we pass on a waddle for those guys and those guys go down. We're going to be in a situation where we don't have a number one receiver and we pass on a better talent. I think Waddle is more talented than everybody else is going to be there at other positions. I just do. So, I mean, that's one of the reasons why you don't pass on talent because people get injured. Yo, I'm sorry. I know the moment is over, but another joke just popped in my head. <laughs> another joke just no, another joke just popped in my head, bro. Evan drops a game winning catch, bro. All Judge got to do is be like, I. Right, you're gonna be you're gonna be in isolation with Just Michael for that Parsons. One play, That's it, bro. Yeah, I get in the room with Michael they Parsons, look, bro. They, look, they don't even tell him anything. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell him. Nobody goes to the locker, locker room, room except, except for Michael Parsons. That's and it. If an eagle turns on the light, it's just Parsons standing there. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, bro. This man drops another pass. It's over for his career, bro. Go ahead. He throws him a bar of soap, and if eagle drops it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he going to drop it? Oh, oh man! Oh no! <laughs> he said, "Pro Bowl cheeks are reserved for Tony." <laughs> I'm sorry, Evan. You better not drop any balls, bro. They're gonna have a whole part of the locker room called right. Mike Corner. <laughs> Mike is corner. <laughs> you think they got six feet right now? Bro, you, you know you know what you do for kids? The timeout corner, bro. That's not the Mike is corner, bro. Mike is corner. Like I said, they're gonna really be practicing some social distancing in that <laughs> locker room. If that stuff is true, man. I don't, I don't at, want to draft him either, man. That's some crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, no, that's actually crazy if it is true. I know I, we've been joking about it, but yeah. it's like it's still allegations. If that's true, then that's real live abuse that's about to mess them <laughs> people up for the rest of their life, man. Yeah. No joke, man. And then they said that uh uh what's the name? Brian Burns was there last year, was he? No, 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 no. Outside linebacker that got drafted, the pass rusher that was Grotos, that for you. Grotos or whatever his oh, name is. Oh, yeah, Grotos. Grotos. They Grotos. said that he was doing it too. Yeah. Oh, man. They all freaks. He got a name, though. That's like, I, I know some he people. Hasn't had any any I, he I know some people. I know some people, both on Twitter, you know, in general, are saying it's like it was just hazing. Like, I've been part of sports teams, albeit not at the college level, at the high school level. The hazing wasn't, you know, being a thief, you know, the booty thief, bro. Like, that's kind of, that's another hazing, level. Like, like that. no, yeah, no that's sir. another level, bro. Like, I've had hazing, but it's like, stuff, it's not that, bro. 
Remember, they was like they was saying that the Giants was this horrible organization because Eli Apple was was getting hazed. Mm-hmm. He got like duct tape, but they was bullying Eli Apple, man. They was bullying that dude. He they was bullying that dude. Man. Yo, Patrick T got me dying, bro. He said certified freak. <laughs> the days a week. <laughs> no. Oh, man. You better catch the ball. We're gonna some spread girls through. in this house. He's gonna, he gonna be right up on them curls. <laughs> There's some curls in this. <laughs> hey man, somebody get this man out of the gym, man. <laughs> Come on. They're gonna be like, why you keep letting them catch it and, and running into the back of them like that? <laughs> There's some curls in this. I'll tell you this though, if we get him, bro. <laughs> All the running backs and tight ends are going to be scared if this man's coming at him on the field, bro. They're going to be scared for their life. Man, look, like Gary man. Harris a couple of years ago that was out there saying, I love when people back me down. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Yo, you remember Michael Sam, bro? Yeah, I remember what's going on, so man. Many, so many sanitized. memes made from Michael Sam, bro. Oh, man. That was, that was a publicity stunt, man. That dude wasn't no good player, man. That was a publicity stunt. Yeah. Eli Apple was better than Brad. I'm not going to entertain that, man. I know what No, you know what we are going to entertain, though? Because Washington fans are low-key delusional right now. That James Bradbury isn't the best corner in the in the division right now. That's Cap, man. Uh, dude, Cap. One of the best corners in the league. Yeah. It, um, it was arguable that he was best in the league last year. Yeah. It really was arguable that, that he and, was I mean, best. I'm telling you right now, bro. If we get certain, we're, we're, we're the best corner duo. That's in, crap, Not man. only in the NFC East, I think probably in the league as well. Well, it depends what certain does his first year because corners, even the safest picks at corner, they have issues their first year. But because corners are hard in, to play, man. Corner is hard. Yeah. To play. Once he settles in, though, that that's that's gonna be crazy. Um, and yeah, we, we saw this a couple yeah. minutes ago, Isaiah. We we saw that Corvette, Corvette. Yeah. And so the that's only reason Corvette, I'm not saying Corvette, Farley yeah. is because I think Farley might be gone by eleven, but I think certain might be available. Yeah. Either one is good to me. Mm-hmm. I just think Farley has a higher sale. Hey, y'all boys, man, we on point. Guys, it's, it's guys. Adoree Jackson expected to I Yeah, I just saw the tweet. Adoree you. Jackson is expected to meet Hey, with listen, us. we need to, we, we might have to get rid of John Ross because that extra million might come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> we might need it. Hey, so how, how, I think I I told you, man. I don't think hey, listen. Gonna... Okay, 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 okay. Right now, right now, if we send that eleven right now, and we manage to sign Kenny Galladay and Adoree Jackson, where are you going at eleven right now? Seeing oh, that? No, no, no. First of all, because we already we already said this before. If we sign Kenny and Adoree, I the don't cap care. Doesn't. The cap doesn't exist. You you could do whatever you want for the rest of the off season, bro. Straight up. They say Logan Ryan recruiting Dory going to sign for the league minimum. I'm, it's funny because I was literally – that was the joke I'm in. I'm like, ah, he ain't recruiting anybody. Dory is somebody that he's recruiting right now if that is the case. Either either yeah. the Kenny Galladay sweepstakes are gone and we There's look – There's no the way, league. man. We don't have all that money. Come on now. There's Come no on. way, dog. Like, no way. Like, how can – no way in the world. Yeah, we would have to release Ingram. We would have to re-sign Peppers. Restructure uh Bradbury and Martinez, release the punter, release Caden. Yeah, the gone at this point. He's gone. Release Yadam, release Sam Bill. There's a couple other guys we could release too. And still have money to sign our, our draft picks too. I don't see how it happens, man. I mean, maybe if we could get a Dory Jackson to accept like three million on the cap this year, maybe. But it's just crazy. Like all of these, I'm guessing this might mean that that are they are they gonna make them run drills against each other or something? Is that what <laughs> whoever wins these three reps? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, they they, they about to fly in the door and be like, "I right, Kenny, I need to see you beat this man real quick." That's a, that's a Joe Judge man, right there. Beat this man, we'll give you 16 instead of 13. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> you know, three out of three times, bro. If you fail once, you got to start they over. Finish. They finna call in a whole team, a whole team and go 11 on 11 and be. Dory Jackson, you can shut this man down. We got 12 million right here for it. Uh, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. 12 mil, hold up. <laughs> this man said 12 mil. Yeah. Oh, Dory? Yeah, it is. I don't That's see not what he's going to get. I don't I... see how this is going to work out, man. I just don't see it. 
like this is that's if we man if we get both man i'm telling you how? if no if, if we get both men the I don't want to hear anything about cash cap the issues only next ex- year, cap listen, issues in the year after that. The only excuse it. that we will pot the only excuse that you could possibly say for our deep for our team not being a playoff team is Daniel Jones. I don't care what the offensive yeah. line is on. Right. <laughs> I don't care what the <laughs> offensive line is. If they get Kenny Galladay and Adore Jackson over here, and the draft go- still has right. to happen, bro. Right. And the draft ain't yeah, happening. Because because we both we all three of us agree that that Reggie Raglan at, at worst we feel that he's a solid starter. <laughs> kidding, bro, no, bro, bro, I'm gonna keep it real with you, Diggy. As of right now, I'm happy with the defensive. The defensive line is legit. As it is right now, the middle linebacking core is legit. We just need the second corner. It's gonna be legit. Like and what else do you need on the deep? And that's a defense that was the ninth ranked in the league that just got better. Which, and by the like, way, I've seen people on Twitter saying, let's be real, the Giants got worse this offseason. I'm like, what have y'all been watching, bro? <laughs> right. <laughs> y'all been watching the same offseason I've been watching? We got better. Like, what? We didn't get worse. At, it, it. Only thing you could say we got worse at is D at, at nose tackle. So we could slide over Dexter. We could slide we could over Dexter it. and you won't notice the difference. I mean, you you might notice the difference. You might. But it's not so much of a difference to where it's going to be a drop off. Especially yeah. when you're adding in a corner and you're adding in other things and a linebacker. Like I really feel like the the um the Reggie Ragland signing is completely underrated by like everybody right now. Tim Patrick, is that a real rumor? Because at this point, Dave Gettleman is just pressing stuff on his computer. Right. If that's a real rumor that Tim Patrick is, <laughs> let's see. Tim Patrick is a restricted free agent, so. Yeah, I don't see anything. He just he just wants Tim Patrick. But if we bring in both of these dudes, man, I'm telling you, it's curtains. We we need to be in the playoffs. There's no excuses at all. Like even if DJ isn't the dude, we need to be in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, ours in thirteen says, "Yo, remember in the beginning of free agency, everyone hated Gettleman. They still hate Gettleman. Right? They still hate Gettleman. They still hate him. Oh, okay, we got lucky Alliance fan." So I think Lucky's kind of commented on a couple of my videos I did on the Lions. Uh, from a Lions fan in regards to Kenny Galladay, he can catch any pass and beat any cornerback on 50-50 balls. He lacks speed, separation, and route running. He's not a number one receiver. I disagree with you. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, I just disagree with you. I, I, I think he does have some of those deficiencies that you said. He doesn't have the best separation. But I think he does have the downfield speed to when he catches the ball, he can leave people. And I think he's a number one receiver. I think he just beats people in a different way than the receivers that just route you up and are, you know, wide open. This dude also is just great at holding on to the ball. Like, the highlight you exactly. always see is him taking that he huge hit. hit. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. That catch on DeAndre Baker was ridiculous. Yeah, man. He actually reached back and grabbed it from B- Baker and still kept two feet in. Exactly. Yeah. Those like I'm watching Kenny Galladay's tape and he's running slant routes and he got an errant throw in a slant and he goes up like it's like a like it's a Hail Mary and comes down with a slant route like it's a Hail Mary. That dude, man, he, he consistently comes down with I don't understand how he does it. Yo. Are we really about to sign two dudes? If we sign a Dory Jackson and Kenny Galladay, man, come on now. But uh, shout out to Sticky Fingertips for the 199. Giants have a 4 p.m. Eastern press conference. Oh, they got the gonads like that, whoa, bro? Hold up, hold up. Don't, whoa, don't, they, don't, they, got the, they got the cojones to do that on a day where they haven't announced anything yet? For real? Don't, don't, do it. don't play with my emotions like that, man. You better not be trolling me. Yo, yo, remember what we said, bro? How with the Eagles dude he signed and he came out on the press conference right after? Okay, okay. I think he's trolling. I don't see anything about that on Twitter. I was about to say. Wait, I was like, that, they, they got some, real, man. bro, they got some massive coconuts if they're going to do a 4 p.m. press conference on a day like this where there's no announcements. But shout out to, to Hit Squad Productions for the 199. Everybody go sub him up. He's a Giants creator, too. But uh, if DJ ain't it, I'm going to enter the draft next year. I got it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can go. I can make the playoffs with this team next year. If, if we get both of them dudes, man. And I'll tell you this. If we get both of them, call me crazy, I might go O-line two of our top three picks. Yeah. There's yeah. no reason not to. Why not? Yeah. You can do whatever you want. 
<laughs> like, that's, like, think about like, and then when I see people on Twitter saying like, we have so many holes all over. Not anymore. About. <laughs> Not the anymore. Yours. You can do whatever you want. You can't. If they get a Dory Jackson and Kenny Galladay, what the hell do we need? <laughs> that's that's, that's crazy. crazy. Like that first pick, that first pick, you taking the best player available. I don't care who it is. That first pick, you taking the best player available. Exactly. If that's so you can do whatever you want. Need. You can do whatever you want. You can take Rashawn Slater. You could take Waddle. You could take right. you could take a corner to go in a slot or at a fourth. I mean, you could do whatever you want, to be honest with you. You could really do whatever you want. We would need a new punter. I know that's a, that's a big thing that we would have to overcome. Listen, man, we don't need to be punting with that team. If we take Waddle, we shouldn't need a new punter. Yeah. Yo, I just realized if you guys were saying uh, BPA, if we get both of them, yo, if 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 we really get both of them, BPA at eleven is gonna be the booty consumer. Yeah. Uh, but Origin 13 says when I talked to Logan Ryan during the season about Darnay Holmes, he told me Darnay reminded him a lot of Odori Jackson, whom he took under his wing while with the Titans per staple. Okay, that's what Art Stapleton said. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like both of them, and I think if Odori Jackson is here, the secondary is complete 100% complete. And, and at that yeah, point, without a doubt, bro, without a shot over that. At that point, you're starting to look at the defense, and you say the only thing that you can say is a weakness Diggy. is that we don't have a dynamic edge. Diggy, and we, we probably won't even need it. But at that point, if we get both of them, um, I am confident in saying before the draft even begins, actually, I'm confident in saying that the rebuild is complete. The rebuild is finished. And imagine, listen, imagine if we do that, and then first round, first round, listen, if you're a team that does all of that, and you think that, that Jalen Phillips is a top 15 actual player you can them. afford to take the risk you can, you can afford to take a risk on that you can afford to say I, i'd still probably i still probably reach for ojalari at 11 over phillips but i get what you're saying yeah that's what i'm saying you can take that kind of risk because if they don't pan out your defense isn't going to be bad you mm-hmm. think your offense isn't going to be bad because you already did what you did linebacker though what'd you say you think phillips can play the three four outside linebacker i think he can yeah i, I really think he can too Yeah, guys. All I'm gonna say is uh, it's exactly what Nick just typed in the chat, bro. Wavid Weddleman, bro. And, and and me and Diggy and, and Pat at times have talked about this a lot. Essentially, since for me personally, since 2019, but for most fans since 2020, he's been like a perfect gem for us. Exactly. And people are saying like this is another great move, obviously from Joe Judge. I'm like, come on, dude. <laughs> uh, Dave Gettleman is doing a lot, a lot of it. I think Joe is the character player that he wants, and I think he's finding the character exactly. player that he wants. Yeah, oh. and, and one thing I will say is you give credit to Dave Gettleman for who we signed. You give credit for Joe Judge for how those players play on the field, and you give credit to Kevin Abrams for setting up these caps because Kevin Abram, Abrams has a, a long history of putting together some crazy cap situations and getting us some solid players because we can move around numbers. But uh, shout out to Ramin Chowdhury. Uh, if we get Galladay, would y'all want O line at eleven? I, w- I would be open to Slater. Yeah, I would consider it. Um, he's saying only Galladay. I would consider it. if it's Galladay and Adori, like we were saying, it's a no brainer. If like Slater is there, right? It's a no brainer. Man, that defense would be sick though. <laughs> you got Adori Jackson, Darnay Holmes, Bradbury, Logan Ryan, Xavier McKinney, Peppers. <laughs> Bro, the D line people on the radar D line just because we lost Thomason, and I will say I'm, Thomason was very important. But you still got Dex, you still got Leo, you got Fina, yeah, you got BJ Hill. Like it's still we have, we have, we have, like we don't need like, Raglan at linebacker. Yeah, we got Carl. When you think about it, we don't really need like people want to take Aleem McNeil, and I want to take Tyler Shelvin. and that's because we just want our defense to just be perfect. So we just mm-hmm. want to replace that piece with another person we think we, that can be an, an elite guy. But we don't need to replace that spot. We really don't. B.J. Hill can play that defensive end position that Dexter Lawrence is playing, and Lawrence can slide over to the nose. Uh, you can do a lot of things to move around. Like, we don't need to replace that spot. That's the crazy thing because we have so much depth there. Mm-hmm. 
And and then we had we already had a, a good amount of depth. And once again, like that's why the Afidi sign was probably my favorite. It's like we didn't necessarily need it, but it was such a good one that could only work out. And apparently, uh, Dory Jackson is supposed to be here on Sunday. So, bro, watch him be here, and Galladay is still meeting with us. I think this might be one of those situations where they're saying if this thing with Galladay falls through, we got this meeting scheduled on Sunday, and they might pull the offer from Go from uh, Jackson. If Galladay signs, I don't know. That's just my theory. I just don't think that we have the cap space to sign both of them. That's that's just that would be sick. Really Unless like all of our entire team, they just all think that we're making the Super Bowl this year, and they're like, "Listen, how much do you need me to push back?" Because next year, I mean, you don't want to be the Eagles though, because at that point you're getting into like Eagles like territory of just pushing back contracts. Because the know? Eagles were like what sixty million. Over the so they would have been 30 million under the you know over the cap in a normal year, mm -hmm. so we can't push everything back, but that'll be it's that'll be something, man. Only reason why we can't really do that is because we got DJs and uh Saquon's car contracts coming up, yeah. You yeah. got to keep that in mind as well, right? That's why I'm like going back to whole restructuring Bradbury and Martinez. Part of me is because I'm looking at it from the player standpoint, and I've said this before. You know, how many times are you going to restructure their contracts? We've already done it quite a bit. And then it's also like going back to be careful now. You have to leave space. You actually have to leave space to yeah. extend other players on the roster. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a good point. I, I feel like we already were a playoff defense. Our offense was just 31st. Yeah, we were 100. We, bro, we were the night and bro. Of course we were a playoff uh, defense. Yeah, our offense was just absolutely terrible. Was there was literally only one team worse than us. And it was a yes. team that was trying to tank and couldn't yeah. do it properly. So, <laughs> yeah. and we were trying to just play, and we, we were still like 31st ranked. Off. Maybe yeah. Logan Ryan can do yeah. Butler. Maybe. Maybe Logan Ryan can give up his money since he wanted to recruit. <laughs> no, nah, man. He earned that, bro. No. Nah. He, 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 no, nah, they ain't going to come to him with a pay cut. No, nah. he earned that. Yeah, you don't want to come to somebody with a for a pay cut there so first. It's year. also it's always been also been uh, tweeted that after meeting with the Giants, if the meeting does happen, he's gonna be meeting with the Eagles. Adore Adore. Jackson. Yeah. Who cares, man? Like, I'm just saying that's just complete icing on the cake. Like Adore Jackson is just like that that's just I'm not gonna be mad if we don't get Adore Jackson. We we shouldn't have the money to sign Kenny Galladay. I mean, especially after all these moves we made. Would you guys say that our pass rush stayed the same or got better this offseason? I think it probably got better with, with the Vikings defensive lineman. I, yeah, I, I think it got better. Better. Like, and I think people don't realize that. I think, I think that dude good. fits us perfectly for a third down pass rush. Yeah. Just him, like him, you know, it was perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still interested in bringing back Kyler Fackrell at the right price if we can get him real cheap. But uh, Sticky Fingers, shout out to you for the $4.99. Don't fear backloads. Don't fear voidable years. NFL got $10 billion from ESPN. Get the cap going up on a Tuesday. <laughs> going up? Exactly. On a Tuesday. It really is. I mean, it's going up. That's what I'm saying. But at the same time, with what we just saw happen this year, we got to be prepared for anything. Yeah, like we got to be prepared at any. So oh, yeah. every election year, just be prepared. That's, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, big Pat, Big Pat, he not joking, bro. He ain't every joking. Election year, something's gonna happen. Yep, it's been happening for the past. <laughs> Tweet Since came out saying that this meeting ain't have nothing to do with God. Well, of course they're gonna so. say that because it literally probably doesn't. But if even if it does, it's not like they're gonna say it, man. Like, come on now. So I guess that was the news that we was waiting for. That's that didn't have anything to do with Galladay. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. And people are like scared that he's going to the Eagles. I don't care if he goes to the Eagles. I mean, Dory Jackson is good, but he's not a lockdown corner. We were bringing him in to be the number two guy. Mm -hmm. He just fits us perfectly, and he's just really fast. Yeah, so I think he, fits he would bring a lot of speed to the secondary. Now we don't have to put Bradbury on those little stupid speed type uh, corners. We could put a Dory Jackson on them and let Bradbury lock up the other person. Those big receivers that he always like he locked. People yeah. talking about how Allen Robinson is the elite receiver. He got locked up. Facts. Like, yeah, Allen Robinson got like two catches on. Like him, that was that's it? the funny thing. Like man. two weeks after, oh, man. we locked him up. 
People was like, we need to go sign Allen Robinson. I'm like, he just got – obviously, he's not this unstoppable receiver. His, his best play, in right. my opinion, was on Allen Robinson. The pass breakup where it looked like Robinson was coming down with it, and he and just he, literally so he intercepted. Intercept yeah, they were, the, the one-hand interception of just literally grabbing it out of this man's chest, bro. Yeah, I mean, and, and then Allen Robinson had another game towards the end of the season where he didn't get one catch. So I don't know if that's because of the quarterback. It's probably because of a little bit of both. But it's not like any of these receivers are – you know, dynamic. Like we're we're signing Galladay because we think he's going to take a step up, right? So, Robinson is already at his ceiling. Exactly. Robinson is is a is a vet by now. Galladay is still developing. But uh, shout out to Ramin Chaudhry for the one ninety nine man watching his defense looking. Uh, except their quarter. I mean, the, their defense is really good, and they're probably not going to have any weaknesses after this draft, like mm-hmm. on paper. Yeah, so <laughs> I will say we're not yeah. that far off in terms of defense. We're not far off at all. The only thing different is that we don't have those edge rushers. Yeah, but other and, than and that, we're surviving without it. Like we're legit fine without the edge. Like the pass rush is good. Yeah, and, and like I said, with Washington, it's really about the quarterback and the offensive line because they have Curtis Samuel as their second guy behind Terry, which is unstoppable. Like. That's, that's unstoppable with an elite quarterback because Curtis is your second guy and bro, Terry is going to be. I'm telling you, don't let Mac Jones get to Washington, bro. If Mac Jones gets to Washington, it's a wrap for the People division. keep laughing at Mac Jones, man. And then you, you're you expecting that Watson is probably going to add a receiver in the first three rounds. So oh, they're going to have a receiver court. I, 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 was thinking, I was thinking they'd probably go like – this would be the dream scenario for Washington, right? They'd, they'd get Mac. They'd get like a um, what did it? Is it a guard or a tackle? Which whichever one more they need, you know, continue to shore up that old line, and then maybe they get a linebacker and then probably a receiver. I would think. Yeah, I mean, basically, I'm saying they'll probably have a receiver that can contribute mm-hmm. because Cam Sims was destroying us last year, and that's that made me so mad. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Cam Sims out of all people was, and while Terry was getting locked up, Cam Sims was destroying us. Going off, I was like, "Man, why are they letting this little retarded dude do this?" <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> what Cam Sims do to you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just saying, like, he's not even the dude on the team. Why is he doing this? Hey, he yo, said, Raul, yo, Raul, 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 stop playing. Raul, hold up. No, no, he's just doing that, man. Come on. Okay, you can't be doing that, bro. We all on the edge of our seats right now. <laughs> this man really—he just put it in there, like. Damn. People, hey man, people, people, yeah. Anyway, let's get back to this joke. He said, "Y'all want speed for cornerback? Let's put John Ross at cornerback too. Locked down. Now he could. I don't know how fast Yo, he, he can back. You, you, you but, know the uh, joke, right? You're playing corner because you can't catch. Put <laughs> <laughs> Evan Ingram on one side, John Ross on the other. It's 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 clip, bro. It's clip. If he had the strength, I would do it. But he don't have the strength. You can put Evan Ingram at safety. <laughs> now we got enough safeties though. <laughs> Evan Ingram on them. Put Evan Ingram at edge, but <laughs> yo, no, I mean, yo, I you basically got that with Cam Brown. And Cam Brown's actually end. good. I've been posting it. We need to put Russo. We need to take Russo, and then everybody be like, "Wow, we took Russo, and then we need to put him at tight end." <laughs> I mean, you found his high school tape, so yeah. Man, if we take Gregory Russo, I don't. That'd be the only guy I'd be mad if we say, even if we get gap <laughs> there. Yeah, you know, you know what's hilarious? Even I if we have this, even if we have the luxurious off season of Galde and Adori, yeah, I'd still be mad at Russo. I'd be like, yo, what are y'all doing, bro? I know we could take the risk, but chill out. Yeah, uh, I don't think I don't think they'll pass on a rookie quarterback that they like because they have Fitzpatrick. I think they brought him in to be a backup or just compete. So. No, nah, I, I think, think Mac has. Jones is still a real chance to Washington Arjun. Like I think it, I think it's going to be basically like a two-a situation if they take a rookie, which is hilarious because uh, that means it's, 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 it's two Alabama QBs in a row. What is it? Hey, Warrior disgusting? Truth, Warrior Truth, isn't that uh, is that the guy to be doing the little predictions and stuff? I'm not sure. No, nah, that's not him. No, nah, that's not him. But his name is Warrior Truth or something like that. Okay, say, boy, your channel on, on point, boy. Yeah, you in here. <laughs> they said, uh, oh, they said Fitz was this. I think you might be getting it confused with the Andy Dalton thing, but uh, I don't think they gave him the job. Who, Andy Dalton? Uh, no, Fitz. 
No, Fitzpatrick's the starter. They said he was. He well, I mean, he probably the with the right little, little guy that shined against the uh, uh, the Buccaneers that played pretty good against the Buccaneers right. towards the end, but he's the starter. Yeah, he's a starter until they take a rookie quarterback that they think is better than him. Right. But you I mean, fifth match, man, because he can have he can have some stretches for real. Did y'all know that Kenny Galladay, his name, you know, Kenny N Y, and then Galladay G, bro, N Y G. Exactly, nineteen plus eight. Yeah, and then 27 plus uh, – I mean, 17 plus 10. Yeah, 27. 27 is equals Brandon Jacobs. 19. Brandon Jacobs equals a running back that exactly. got us the Super Bowl. Kenny Galladay equals Gi- Giants to the Super Bowl. Yeah, 27. He's going to be a 99 overall in mad. I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, but uh, shout out to Sticky Fingertip. <laughs> For the four ninety nine, is it just me or do chicken nuggets taste better when they're shaped like down? That's a good man. I'm, I no, thought that's I a was fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. One hundred. When it's just those regular circle chicken nuggets, they be okay. They are not even circles, but they just some weird shape. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little oval or whatever. Yeah. Bro, when they're shaped like dinosaurs, they do be hit. Tell me. Dino nuggies, bro, and chicken <laughs> tendies. Galladay will be twenty eight in November. The Lions could have easily franchise tagged him or re-signed him with the Lions having no number one or number two receiver. Why did they re-sign him? I mean, that's didn't want to be there, bro. I mean, still they could have franchised him. He, he would have had to come back. Well, but um forced him back. They're gonna take a receiver 100 percent at this point because they lost him and Marvin Jones. Marvin Jones just almost had a thousand yards and he went to uh <laughs> Jacksonville. Marvin Jones snuck out of there too. Marvin Jones, yeah. yo, don't even worry about it. Marvin Jones is a good player too. He was somebody I wanted if we didn't get the number number one kind of dude. He is a good player. Kind of underrated too. Yeah, really underrated, man. Like that's like when I was watching a Galladay tape, I was like, oh, who's this? This is Marvin Jones. His old yeah, self is still doing this. Yeah, Marvin Jones was doing it before Galladay got there. Yeah. Marvin Jones was the other receiver when Golden Tate was doing his thing over there in Detroit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is that this is the, this is the maybe Joe Judge is uh it would be funny maybe. if it is a Leo extension part two and we don't get a deal until Tuesday because that's when we got a deal for Leo this week. I cannot wait like five more man, make a decision, man. Like we, I was thinking watch, like, bro. Okay, it's either, gonna be Tuesday. I was thinking like while I'm streaming, either he, we're gonna see that Kenny is going to the Giants. Or Kenny is uh is signing somewhere else. I'm just like it's it's got to be a decision. That they was meeting with him this morning. Yeah, and until like an hour ago, there was a tweet that said he was still there. Anyway, so, bros, uh, I'm gonna have to hop off soon though. Yeah, man. Yeah, hey, me. Hey, thanks too. for coming on, man. We've been on here for a while. I'm gonna probably wrap yeah. it up soon. <laughs> nah, yeah, I'm gonna be out, y'all. Shout out to Diggy, great stream. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm gonna wrap it up right now. I'll go ahead then. Right <laughs> So, yeah, thanks for coming on. Thanks for everybody that, that popped into the chat. Thanks for everybody that, that donated and, and wished me happy birthday. Um, I want to thank Big Pat, The Hub, Nate for coming on. And uh, I'll give you all a couple seconds just to plug you all stuff, and then I'm going to get out of here because I was waiting for some news, and it looks like it ain't never going to come. <laughs> well, man, thank you for inviting me to the channel. Thank you for coming on the channel uh, last night. Uh, Big Pat Sports Talk, man. Go follow the channel. I'm doing mock drafts currently. Uh, might do a, one later today if we get some Kenny Galladay news, but don't look like it. But thank you for inviting me to the channel. Go subscribe to Big Pat Sports Talk, man. Good content over content over there. For real, go over there, check out Big Pat. Yo, shout out to Diggy for having me on. You guys were great. Um, tonight is my members panel stream. So my members basically come on. They're gonna be like the guests on the panel. We're going to do either a mock draft or we're just going to talk about Kenny G. It's only going to be like an hour and a half long, not going to be too long, just because today was a long day and whatnot. So, guys, if, if you got time tonight, around 9 o'clock and whatnot. All right. Y'all definitely go check them out. Uh, the Hub, Big Pat Sports Talk, and I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for coming on. All right.